first yeah. show, we you want fucking the going it. on, bro. Holy, I think I think a year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half. It's crazy. <laughs> I would have never thought, bro. Same, fam. Look at us, but bro. We made it. Look, Look what, at what us. Uh, Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> not, not us. All right. Just for episode 100. Actually, maybe not even just for episode 100. Maybe you can do this more. For if this sure. does really good, maybe we'll Facts. do it even more. Facts. But we got almost every single guest mm-hmm. from Jumpers Jump history. <laughs> In the building today. The alumni is here. And we're gonna call them out by episode number. Yes, sir. Y'all already know who's first. Who's first? Episode man. seven. Josh Best Nugent, time. let's go. Shout out Josh, the first guest episode ever this, on this, Jumpers. You, yo, you already know Black Gavin's back in the cut. Like, <laughs> man, man. Black Black Gavin's Gavin's back in the cut. Cl- yo, classic, cl- classic Josh. Y'all know. If y'all know, y'all know. Yo, if you feel nice to be back, bro. Let's call the next next one. Next next one. We got episode nine. Nine. This is a real cult classic. The real banger. Sophia Lorenzo. (laughs) Sophia, let's go. (laughs) Let's go. Let's go. Here, that's your mic. And comment down below how much time she sweared on that episode. A lot. (laughs) I swear your episode alone had fucking like 80 F bombs, bro. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. It's okay. You can swear today. No, no <laughs> issue. No <laughs> issue. Oh, did they, yo, we can swear. Yeah. I you can bet. swear if you want, bro. We can do whatever is, we want on this podcast. Yo, hey, move up a little bit. Too. This unfiltered man. Us. All right. Okay. Let's get the next person in. All right. Next is who is that? Episode eleven. A oh. very controversial episode. Oh. This, oh. Mm-hmm. Why is it controversial, Gavin? Yeah. Ask me. Drake. <laughs> Drake. 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 This might be the episode that got us. Facts. Beef with Drake, but who knows? Yeah. We're not and, for and sure. This guest, this guest is Drake's biggest dick rider. <laughs> 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 Shout out Cherry Chance! Come on, this time, my brother. Got Thanks for coming through, bro. Yo, the rap. Oh, All right, that's God, your bro. mic. That's the your kicks, mic. The kicks. Hey guys. My guy's here. Shout out Chan for coming through. Yo, how, how do you feel being the most viewed guest on the podcast? Is it the most viewed? Oh, it is Yo, the most you guys. He's number one. He's number one. Holy it's shit. Yeah, it's a it's my God. Cause that, that sickle mode theory went crazy, yo. That sickle mode theory. <laughs> Alright, ready? Yeah, man, here. Let's get um episode 13. Mm. We had a very funny guy on our podcast. Wow. AKA Ryan RJ. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yo. <laughs> Respect him. Don't that call him Shiggy. Don't call him Shiggy. Shout out RJ coming yes, through, sir. bro. Through, One through. of our funniest guests ever on the podcast. Facts. All the brown boys on my side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Flying, next we got insane. up. We got. This is one of my favorites, actually. We got Jet oh, Lag, Mr. bro. Jet Lag, jet lag yeah. in the building. Let's go, Jet. What is only Jet? What is only Jet? Thanks for coming through, man. <laughs> my All right. God, my God, That's your mic here. right there. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to share a mic with with um. Another nah, guest. You guys spoil it. You guys spoil it. You guys spoil it. Who knows? All right. This is the jumper's favorite right here. Oh, shout right. out. You already know. Sasha. Yeah, Grace in the so building. Yeah. Shout out, Sasha. Yeah. Hey. Thanks for coming through, Sasha. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, the goal. You've seen him on Twitch. You've mm. seen him on Jumper's episode. Episode. <laughs> episode 25. <laughs> Brandon Dito. My guy. Let's, let's go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, what kind of that was like? Give me a better one, bro. <laughs> Yo, I missed what? you too. Yeah, it's all, it's all good. Someone's gonna be there. That one's for the books. That one's for the books. Yeah, man. All right, bro. Honestly, it's a crazy journey. I didn't think ever it would be this big. Facts. Shit. Okay, I want. I have a question for you guys. Did you guys think like we'd be this popular or have this much success? Easily, bro. Easily. Like right away on the podcast. No, like I say, okay, say no, say high school. You look Easily. at me and me and Carlos. Yeah, like, like just just nah. knowing us from high school and just. You in know the, what I mean? In the business class I was in with you guys, you were both very silent. Didn't really? speak at all. Like kept to yourself. So first episode, obviously, you don't know where it's gonna go. You're just trying stuff out. But now it's like whatever you guys do, mm. it's gonna happen. You know. Like when you were on the f- podcast the first time, did you think there was gonna be a, a lot of eyes on you? Or you thought, oh, it's just like no, this little thing. Like, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna put your mic closer, yo. No, I, I, I don't know. I just, 
it was living, bro. Like, I didn't really <laughs> care about anything. <laughs> what about you? I always believed in you, brother. Say it louder? What? I always believed in you. You always believed in me. Yeah. 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 That's sincere, bro. Nah, I'm capping still. I didn't think you'd make it this far. Like, you know, I didn't think we'd even be this close after high school. Like, I didn't Yeah, think that's actually true, bro. I didn't think you'd make a Because we, we only really started hanging, like, after that, too. Yeah, so it's like when I, when, it's, it's crazy. That's the thing. I think when in high school, when somebody has, like, a creative outlet and then a lot of eyes on it, it kind of builds relationships that you never had before. And that's, that's, that's nice. the beauty of it, right? Because, like, all of these relationships I had with people, I wouldn't have had if I didn't have some outlet or like some reason to go link you guys. Nah, you know what I mean, true, yeah. like how many times did we link? Like if it yeah, wasn't no, for the I podcast, every sometimes. Week, bro. right? No. Even me and you, Gavin, like we barely link. That's yeah, we, we barely link besides the podcast. That's crazy. Exactly. That's the crazy thing. Cause like, I think you were supposed to do it with Josh, but then I guess it was like, oh, the opportunity came and stuff like that. Sorry? Huh? What? Well, RJ's crying? Why are you crying, bro? This guy's getting a bit emotional. Oh, no, but we need tissues, bro. Man, we could have we could have gone any direction. Like we could have got celebrity guests, but now we just built it from like the month. That's real shit. That's, That's real yeah. shit. Cause we in a sense, we never really had like a like a big influencer yeah, on our that. podcast. Honestly, like that's what I respect the most. Like you like you exactly. kept it real with like all of us. You got all the people in the in the ends, all the people to come, mm -hmm. bro. That's some real stuff. And, right there. and do, do you think looking back, do you think that's what makes us special too? Because if, if you look at the guests, it's, it's literally just our friends. Yeah, yeah. from school. You know yeah, what's crazy to me? You did it all serious. in your room. <laughs> oh, fast. yeah, that's you wild. made it this far. A lot, of, a lot of them don't know that. Like, I literally did it in my bed. Like, the bed is right beside us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I move my chair, I'm hitting the bed. Hitting the bed yeah, that's what's crazy, right? That's what's crazy. But I think eventually, I really want to upgrade to like a, a proper studio and maybe have more of these big group podcasts, yeah. right? Yeah. But I mean, you're stressed though. Like, what? <laughs> like this right now? Oh I, I, I think this is the most stressed Carlos has been. Yo, this is, yo, it, I know. It's I easy. Mean, yo, it's easy at the house. It's easy at the house. Put, put two things, you're good. That's it. But here, one, yo, oh I knew Carlos for so long, I never seen him this stressed in my life. Nah, it's because eight mics, bro. Eight mics? I'm, I'm stressed for, for two mics already. Yeah. Imagine yeah. eight yeah. mics. I saw you But it's so. Oh, yeah. I was. Brad Fam, the Uber guy didn't even know where we were. Yeah. I was like, yo, how am I going to eat before this? <laughs> Wait, how much you pay for Uber? So just for this episode two, I put on my story to get a bunch of, yes, sir. A bunch of like um, viewer, viewer submissions of topics we want to talk about. You guys want to get deep on this one? Let's go. Yes. Get deep? Yeah, yo, you want to get deep? Let's get it. Yeah, let's do it. I should be a lie. That's it. Oh, whatever. Let's, go. Let's, let's, go. Go. Yeah, Yo, let's get, get it, bro. Right, let's, let's get deep, then. Get real deep. I know pause. pause. <laughs> Yo, wait, hold up. Pause. <laughs> hold up. Bro. Right, pick, pick one of these. Pick one of these you want to start with. It's one of these three. I was going to say, before we even get off the topic that's of, weird. like, that's you know, weird. how you bring regular that's people weird. onto the show, I feel like that's a big thing you get, like, a pat on the back for because you're mm. not taking celebrities and, like, boosting your episodes. Yeah, bro. You're, you're really showing, like, a regular perspective, which everyone at the end of the day is regular. Yeah. But you get to see it. I think it gives people hope, too, you know? I wanted to make it, like, motivation, too, for all the people trying to start podcasts. Like, you don't have to have, like, a big cosign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, we literally just did it. Out of my bedroom, fam. My, no, dude. no big cosign. And we're not relying on anybody for for clout, yeah. for attention. We just make it ourselves. We do it our own. Yo, you remember? Um, remember at grad, there was um, they did like awards, right? Yeah. And it was like there was one. Is like who's gonna be the most popular after high school? There was a girl. What's her name? I'm not gonna say her name, but it's like the makeup girl. Yeah. That oh, everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. thought it was gonna be. I'm like, wait. <coughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no names, bro. <laughs> No clue. But yeah, oh, everyone, oh, everyone oh, thought she was gonna be at, and, and, and she was like gassing, and she was gassing. But <laughs> back of my head, fam, I was like, "There's no way." Like, ain't no way, bro. Yeah, you feel me? Yo, yo, especially when you have mans like these. Come on, ain't no, no way, but bro. I wouldn't. No I would have never thought. Okay, okay, but we got bag that we're talking about grad and like jet lag over here is a year younger. This is no oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, are they too, bro? Are they too? younger too? I'm a grown oh my God, man. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so who, who, like, what would you think Carlos would have done and and other people would have done if they wouldn't like be on the podcast? Yo, honestly, like I thought, like like we go studios. I, I thought like that was because that's be what thing. it was, right? That's what I'm saying. That that's that's how I started as like I didn't. I I just started the podcast in some way to to promote <laughs> shit. Yeah, but I just started something to just like promote stuff, and I didn't think it would be. We have like a community now. Yeah, I don't know if you guys joined the Discord, but the Discord is a community in itself. Like it's actually like a family. Yeah, yeah. like it's. That's cute. We're talking cult shit. Like, that's actually, like, a cult. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be in it hello. Like, I haven't been on Discord in a while. I got locked out. But, mm -hmm. like, back when I was on, even Dino and I posted. Yeah. 
Yo, Dino, you're, Yo, you're Dino, Dino, always on it, yeah. bro. Yo, Dino, we, he, he's the king of it, bro. I swear. <laughs> but Dino, Dino's a celebrity, so I saw Dino outside. I had a basketball in my hand, and we took a picture together, and the chat went crazy. And it was like something as simple as that. They just oh, like seeing us together in person. Mm-hmm. Like Dino lives across the street from me. That blew their minds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, D- Dino lived through the the catfish story. And oh, he's he seen it all, and bro. We, we took a girl that was literally like crying, depressed on live. We took her to the Discord, and mm. then now she's like. Like they're talking to mans all the time. That's what's damn. Yeah, that's that's, that's what's good because like we're just scrolling on TikTok. Someone's story. like, "Yo, yo, she's crying." I'm like, "Yo, get her in, fam." Facts. Because if crazy. I was gonna start a community and I want to like have a, a community that's behind me, I want it to be positive, mm-hmm. right? I don't want any like bad shit to happen. I want it to like be better for society, right? Why yeah. would I? Why would I start something and then all of my fans are like haters or all my fans like they shit on people? Yeah. And I mean, even if it's just jokes, sometimes. Yeah. You want to have like a community that's that's backing everyone, sharing love. That's that's number one. In my who was a ghost, Cyrus? Who? Huh? I was Cyrus. Say Cyrus. Oh, Cyrus. 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 Oh, Cyrus. Oh, Cyrus a rock, bro. Yo, yeah. he's a ghost. Go. I was just gonna say the kids, in that, the kids in the Discord, like you, you've grown them as individuals as well. Well, everyone in the chat has like when they came <laughs> yeah. in baseline they're just coming in as fans and now they're like almost a part of the team indirectly facts. they're in that chat every day you know? yeah facts, yeah, facts. yeah sh- towards that shout out shout out what luke raku josh oh, that's everyone in discord sean chloe uh, Sai. Yo, you know what we should talk I about? I know I'm too. forgetting like a bunch of people, but like, yeah, shout out all you yeah, guys. Yeah, shout out all you guys. Making it work. You know what we should talk about? We should talk about some of our favorite moments. Oh. We didn't, we never like bagged that. We never really talked about that ever on the podcast. Talking about like on the podcast? Or, like, like yeah, from anyone's yeah, episodes, from anyone's episodes. Damn. Y'all don't watch each other's episodes? There you go. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Nobody can hear the sickle mode except for me. <laughs> yeah, even Josh can't hear it. That's funny. Y'all don't watch each other's episodes? Favorite moment. Um, I mean, favorite moment. Like, or even just a favorite woman, just like us. Together. Honestly, like seeing you guys up on like six buzz and shit. You and Sharon just you like all buzz? of a sudden, just me and Sharon on the just Drake blowing theory. up. Nah, just, like, just out of nowhere. Yo, like that's know, still gotta be like. Nah, yo, yo, for me, one of the craziest moments was the Rolling Stones, bro. Oh yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. That was wild. I was shocked when I saw that. Oh, the Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. Archery. <laughs> chill, 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 you guys chill. Remember Archery? Who's birthday Archery? was it? Was it your birthday? Oh, Archie, oh, his birthday, fire. his birthday. Oh, Archie was on the podcast. This guy, though, was... this guy with the Archie, not not allowed to, to play against us, fam. Bro, I don't lose on my no, chest. No, he's the last person to say that because me and you were friends. Oh, <laughs> last three, this guy looked at me. He's like, "I'm sorry." And then he, <laughs> <laughs> and then, yo, you know what's crazy? I missed. Oh yeah. I missed. <laughs> and then yeah. I missed. Okay, okay. This this is a good question. This is a good question. So. This is kind of directed at me and Gavin first. It's mm-hmm. saying, this is from Colin Michael. He says, looking back at the other 99 episodes, oh, what do you think you've learned through it? Now, even though it's directed at us, let's mm-hmm. say even for the beginning of quarantine, yeah. how much did you guys learn over those years until today? Uh, today is what? October 1st, 2022. I don't know. You can low-key tie it into the question you asked before about favorite moments. Like This yeah. wasn't specifically on the podcast, mm-hmm. but when you guys had that issue with people copying your stuff, it was like semi a beef. Yeah. Like initially, how did you feel and how did you like move on from that? For that? Because I feel like that was growth in itself. Yeah. Like, figuring out how to deal with these people. I feel like you you guys blew up so fast. It's like you didn't have the time to train with the little things. Yeah, yeah. honestly, honestly. Okay, we what's, what's your take on that before I go? What's we ran t- one podcast like before and then we we're like, yo, this is good. And then we we're just like, All right, every every other episode will air it. Mm-hmm. Well, but, but just question like- In terms what, of what, beef, what, like how did you learn to handle that and like roll Like the copycats. Mm. For beef? Copycats. Copycats, so copycats. To be honest, stuff. we really didn't care because it's like the real ones know who the real ones are. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't you can't run with sauce for that long until mm. it's gonna come back to you, you know? I have my take on it though. He's spitting. Yeah. This is my this is my personal take. I wanna see if that anybody agrees or that disagrees or agrees with me. But listen, listen. I think I think if there's no opposing threat ever, mm. then you're not gonna grow as much. Mm. Like if you put if you put um let's say you have a brother mm. and your brother's like the most overachieving brother ever, mm. and you're do you're out here doing your thing. You're gonna work even harder to outshine him, yeah. or at least be on his level, because you want to be left in the dust. Talk your shit. Depending on how your mindset is, though. Yeah. Right. What do you guys think about that? So you just called him your little brother? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, I'm saying like, I'm saying like they are. Little so, so for example, for example, those those other podcasts copying us, uh-huh. it's like it's like okay, now now there's competition. Mm. Fuck it, we can turn up even more because we see you guys and then we want to destroy. Mm. I mean, if there's competition, I want to destroy every single competition in front of me. What if you already know you're better? 
So Ooh. then you're just like, oh. but I feel like I feel like you don't grow like that, right? I guess mm. so. Carlos, but you're taking that 48 laws of power approach, the destroyer enemy completely. <laughs> yeah, that's what you gotta do, bro. That's, that's literally what you got. Okay, do you think? Do you think if you do have an enemy, should you shut them down right away, or should you let them grow? No, nah, I, I don't. Feel like it's a compliment. You think it's a compliment? Yeah, like I think it is. I get you. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. I think like you should be proud of yourself. You should be proud that other people. Yeah, because it's true. Yeah, it's like true. it's like what you said, like even for boxing, like mm. you two sparring, mm. like iron sharpens iron. That's true. It's kind of yeah. the same thing. Yo, yeah. honestly, I feel like if someone's copying you, like you must be doing something right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's what's, sure, what's, the, what's the bar? Like, they want to be like you, bro. You're like you're, you're obviously what doing something it? right. Imitation is flattery. Yeah. Yeah. Imitation is a form of flattery. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. yeah. but like. Though. Imitation, it is flattering, but it's also conflicting at the end of the day. Like, as, as a photographer, I've had people that have copied me mm -hmm. and then had people that I look up to share their stuff and be like, yo, this is revolutionary. But it's like my shit, you know? Yeah. yeah. So it's tough to see that and be like, well, I'm still where I'm at while this person's getting perceived as... Yeah, Something yeah, yeah. I'm getting attention. Towards. Yo, yeah. I remember like way back, like oh, uh, Google Studios. I remember mm. someone like copy like your oh, whole oh, yeah. flow, bro. Yeah. Like, copy bar, bar for bar, like even the lines. And yo, where are they now? That's true. Where no, they but, now? But it's the thing. It's like that's your pain that you put into that, right? That's your yeah. emotion. Yeah, like this. Mm. Well, they so need something to copy. Exactly. At the end of the day, exactly. like if you don't like, I noticed um, with specific people, if I didn't post, they didn't post. Yeah. So yeah. it's like you're in the driver's seat. At the end of the day, no. Trust me, the, the real, the real will always like You're come to come game. to the surface. Yeah, because like uh, with your art, I can see like you're passionate about it, but someone else copying, that's not the same, right? Yeah, I guess passion beats skill exactly. at the end mm -hmm. of the day. Exactly. Damn, I guess that's true because there's there's no way like I if I see somebody else copying another creator right away, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's kind of cringe to me too. Yeah, yeah. Do you but think competition is good then. That's what I said. I said. I said. I I want the competition just so it makes us grow more. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's I mean, not that I like it. I don't like it. No, I'm gonna be completely honest. When when all the guests, right? Yeah. And I had to hold my spot for jumpers. I seen uh, him go viral. I'm like, <laughs> fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Carlos gonna replace me, and they're not gonna like nah, me. Nah, 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 nah. No, but this is real. This is real. Yeah. Um, and then oh, Sophia's episode. Boom! That I had to top that one. I'm like, oh my goodness, mm. Emson, Emson. But it's like it makes you better. Me, it keeps me on my yeah. My yeah shit, it keeps me? you going. Because I think that's the one thing that that destroys everybody is is being comfortable. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Low key, right? Yeah, like all of those times, if you think about it, like all those times you're chilling on your bed too long and you wake up and like fuck, I have a headache because I was on my bed too long. Yeah. Like you don't grow like that. Yeah, you can hurt yourself from being unproductive. Yeah, it's like the worst type of yeah, thing because it doesn't. Skating doesn't like progress you in any sort of way. If you mm. hurt yourself running, at least you ran. Ooh. If you're just in pain because you laid in bed, like it's I feel like bars. shit after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Are right, you want to take the next topic? Or oh, that was a, we already did one? That was that topic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a, that was yeah, a two we, for one. Because I, I want to run through like a bunch of different topics just so just so we can like hit everything. One. Yeah, yeah. Next one, uh, so we can hit that supernatural shit. We can yeah. hit everything, you know? All right, next one. This one's from Miguel. Dot v he says what are some first date ideas oh go around, go around. Go around, go around. I, I feel like rj has a fire one <laughs> rj definitely has a good one no like like first, first date, date idea me personally what i do right i'm married first of all so i've never done this multiple times <laughs> what i do is go to the store mm. flowers first thing really if you, if you can't spend okay $10, do you think do you think flowers on the first date is, is good Depends on the girl. Honestly, I wouldn't really care for flowers, but like it really depends on the girl. Do you think? Do you think it's a turn off though? Because like he's putting so much, so much attention into it. I mean, if there's meaning in it, then I'd be like, thank you. Word. Look, if I was I'm the, the type of guy crazy, bro. to say my intentions at the first mm. thing, so I told her I laid my eyes on you. I want you. <laughs> so I went to the store and I got those flowers. W if you can't spend fifteen dollars on a girl for some flowers, you you not it. So I bought flowers and I took her to all you can eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you don't got to pick one off the menu. Pick whatever you want. All you can eat. You know what I'm saying? This is his life. This is his life. This I gave her the flowers because I know she never expected that. Mm. See, you You know, you asked her that question, but they never expected. it. Um, That's different. true. That's true. Okay, well, what did you but take? But dinner date is kind of like... Unless you're a man like RJ, that's hard to pull off. Like, because you got to be a character, you think? Yeah, yeah. a dinner date, and it's just like, oh, when should I eat and when should I talk? Like, it's hard. You don't think you should be like RJ? <laughs> the dinner like, date but is not. Is, nah, but you should put everything like up front. You should see the way someone eats. You should see the yeah. way like. Yeah. Just if you're yourself, I exactly. don't know if it. 
like I feel like that's almost better in the long run. Mm. If you're you know faking it, was, if you're though? slowing down and whatnot, then you get into the relationship and shit changes. Well, were you talking before the dinner date, or was that your yeah, first? Yeah, yeah, because I'm the type of guy I'm just like entertain whatever, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. And, and, Usually I take girls to bubble tea. You know what though? Okay, okay. But I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you this though. I feel I feel like am I wrong when I say when they say dinner dates are 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 bare like a commitment kinda? Cause you have to sit down for hours. That's what I'm saying. You right in front of them. You know, that depends on the person though. It's a, hours straight. it's a good way to get to know the person. Like Our, if you go for right. bubble tea, yeah, that was the you know, but if you're going for was more casual. On the first one though, the first date. On the first date. Well, would you go on a dinner date for your first date? Yeah. I would. Damn. Would you? No. See, because I feel like some girls are shy. Well, every guy has their <laughs> own. That's, 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 that's what I wanted to test, though. Huh? People have their own skills, you, though. RJ is a talkative You could be shy with me, but if I could get you through these two hours. That's good. That's good. Because that like I said, I will take you to bubble tea because I knew my ass was Yo, not going to chill for an hour. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I knew if I'm going to take you to dinner and I could wait the two hours, yeah, that I like you because you can meet my mom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baby, if you see this, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna lay it down. You you do something that is fun and active. So even though you have a shit like combo, you're mm. having fun. Yeah, at the yeah. End. yeah. yeah you're yeah. Yeah. That's what I was gonna like, say the no, same thing. If, too. if you go home, right at the end of the day, if you had fun, yeah. it doesn't matter if you had fun with them. At least you had fun. Right? Then you can get mm -hmm. Korean barbecue. Then you can get bubble tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you sorry, want me to put bro. you guys on? I'll put you on the best date idea ever. You ready? Yeah, I seen this in a movie. It's gonna be an escape room. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no, that's sick too. That, that's, that's sick too. That's sick too. That's, but that's not what I'm saying. Before you start, I gotta say, remember the time we couldn't decide what to eat? And this is like, this is skill from Carlos. He yeah. said, Where's the first place you want to go in the oh, world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that works. I think I said, oh. said Mexico, and he's like, all right, we're getting Mexican food. Yeah, and everyone's like, oh, that's yeah, because they can't say no. Wait, wait, bef before you give out decided. the best one, go, go around. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't think no one's going to yours. Okay, true. Okay, like, go around, go around. What would you do? i say arcade, bro. Like like Gavin was saying. Like He put me on. Play-Dio? Um, Yeah, like Gavin was saying, if there's like, those moments where you're kind of awkward with the girl, Facts. like you're playing, and it's competition. You're doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You're doing something, and it's like a fun way to just. It's like, have like it's like yo, nice strike. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing though. I talk a lot of shit, and you can so flirt that way too. Like it, it's kind of like a, a playful. Exactly. Like, what banter. if the girl can't take shit? Like I talk shit. Like yeah, exactly. Time, you talk shit. Yeah, like if she team? gets a gutter bump, like your ass. Like go home. No, but if a girl, if a girl can that's deal that's with that though, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If a girl can deal with that. Plus, that's, that's a keeper right there. Right. Yeah, that's and true, right? Because like, like, you got to be comfortable back, with, with people like making fun of you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. Y'all don't want to add to it? Yeah, look at each other first before we <laughs> I do agree. I guess like in any case, just listen. It doesn't matter if it's a he, she, they, them. Yeah. Like listen to them. Don't take them somewhere they wouldn't want to go. I feel like you have to get to know someone briefly before you even take them out. You that's, know? That, yeah. That's no, if that's they don't nice. like mini putting and you take them mini putting like... You're just guessing at random, yeah. you know. Mm. If you didn't know that already, then you're probably off to a bad start. You're not considering them. Yeah, I was on that. Picked up from that. Was that Dino? That's Dino. Yeah. Sauce man. <clears throat> Sauce man. No, I'd probably just bounce off Jet here and do the same. Like it's kind of one of those things where it also depends on like who you're talking to. Like that's it really true. Does. Yeah, you can't like. There's you no have general. To get to know the person a little bit before mm. you take them anywhere. In my opinion, like it kind of. You if you're talking to. to someone who's really into like I don't know comic books or something, and you take her to. Like some retro place downtown or something and oh, you just true. go like sightseeing or even that, go shopping like it all depends on who you're talking to at the time like i could go i could go one place and go to the zoo with a girl or something and mm -hmm. because she i don't know suits her she likes animals she wants to see yeah you go there simple as that but if you go to someone who like is allergic to like all animals or hates that's true yeah you need to know next. like basic things before you actually make a commitment to go out you have to mm. put the time in to understand what they want and what makes sense for both of you because it has to be something a little bit more mutual than just mm. something you think works out well yeah, yeah. I, I have a question i have a question before you guys go have you ever been on the double date both of you guys never on the i feel like you, you guys would do that though I nah? Nah, I don't know. really that wasn't my question, boy. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't even know why I answered you. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Answer, answer, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. My question was, oh, okay, okay. So do you think it's the guy's job to pick the first date or can a girl pick the first date? Whoever wants to hang out first yeah. should pick. I agree. Do you think it matters who happens? That's a big no, cap, actually, bro. Do you, do you think it matters? Because if, if a guy makes the initiative or a girl makes the initiative, is that, isn't that different? Because if a guy takes control, if a girl takes control, 
I mean, it would be nice to see a guy take control. So that means you know? that means that's the right answer. Yeah, yeah, that means that's the right answer. But the thing is, I'm shy, so like I will never initiate anything. But like I don't know for her, so I don't know. How about you? She'll uh, spiritually summon. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Manifest that they ask me. All right. Um, I don't know. I think it depends on how long I'm like talking to them. Mm -hmm. Like if like how long are you talking to them before you go on this date? Like is it? That's that's a good point too. Like eight months. Eight what? months, eight man. Months? What the fuck? Eight months. Eight months. What you mean? <laughs> what? Yeah. For a date? You're basically married. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no that's that's facts. So you don't have any like yo, favorite date spots? You think? <laughs> you locked in at eight months. Walking. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Yo, yo, yo. Hear me out. Hear me out. Right. There's certain there's certain dates that you can only do with someone you really really fuck with. Facts. You get me? Yeah, that's right. Like you can't just go on a walk with anybody. Can't go on a walk with just anyone. It's good because when it gets awkward, you know, you can like kick a rock while you're walking, so you don't have to stay. <laughs> 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 kick a rock. Kick some rock. <laughs> Yo, that's gonna make it worse. Break it in the room. That's gonna make it worse. Yeah. Automatically <laughs> awkward. I don't know. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Carlos, well, kick a rock. If you go on the walk worse. with the wrong person. <laughs> yeah. One time I went on a walk with the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong person, bro. Right? We're walking, right? I'm just asking her. I'm just asking her so many questions, right? Fam, I ran out of questions. I literally said, I don't know what to ask. No way you said that, bro. Yo, that's crazy. That's like a million feet right there, bro. bro I didn't know what to defeat. do. That's how I That's on you, though. That is kind of on you, fam. That's on you. Sometimes you gotta admit defeat, though. On a date. Like if it's awkward and you're if walking, it's not going, yeah. You know what I mean? Like if it gets awkward, you could just. There's so but much that's like the same as doing yeah. an activity. Nah, but physically I can't do it. My back starts hurting and shit. Like <laughs> walk from yes, what? Man, oh old, no, but this guy has a limp everywhere he goes, bro. He has a basketball <laughs> limp. Yo, 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 it's different when you're with a girl, though, bro. It's yeah, no, my knees get strong. Yeah, you get strong. All the chalker goes in you, bro. When you're with a girl, all your actions go up by ten, bro. Yeah, it just goes up by ten. What's adrenaline? Yeah, exactly. All right, Josh, you have one? Damn, yo, 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 all you guys took all mine. But, you know, for me, I, I, like, I like a date that's, like, compact. I like doing, like, more than one thing. No, oh, facts. yeah, so, yeah. Well, what I like, I like to go to a place where, like, I can generate, like, conversation. So, like, if mm. I'm at the zoo, you know, I can be talking Oh, about I the love zoo, the zoo. Like, uh, all that stuff. Yeah, 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 it's a nice bear. You don't like the zoo? You don't like the zoo? I fuck with the zoo, bro. Even, like, the aquarium or something like that. Aquarium. Oh, yeah, aquarium's fire. Yo, I went to aquarium, best day of my life. Best day of my life. Best day of your life? Yeah, best, it was actually the best day of my life. Why is that? Because I, I don't even know why. Like, it was just so, like, the, the scenery and everything, it was just amazing. Yeah. But, yeah, mm. I like it, like, compact. Like, I like to do that. And, like, after, like, we can go on a walk. Like, we can get, like, dessert. But, like, I just like doing multiple things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it can generate the conversation more, like, when you're around different areas. So that, that's if you're by true. Ripley, that's too, that's a hot so You never run out of shit Ripley. to say, too. And if one misses, then maybe the other that's one might yeah, 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 that's good, that's good, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, why. I get that. You don't think that if you run out of shit to say, then maybe it's not meant to be, though? Unless you're cool with being <laughs> that, quiet. That may be too. Like, that I like quiet too. time, but... Yeah. If you're with someone and it's just not flowing, you think like, you're gonna be with this person? There's like forever? awkward quiet time and then there's like comfortable quiet yeah. time. Yeah, 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 yeah but that's, yeah. I guess, I guess it depends it on the person. Comfy, then it's good. If it's not coming when it's quiet, that means it's not a good match. Yeah, because it's just a vibe at the start, right? I guess that's a good test to lay out. Just stop talking and see yeah. if it yeah. gets awkward. Yeah. 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 I, I, you guys want the best? You guys want the best answer? Yeah, yeah you're, you're right. right. Nah, hear me out, look, look. No, the way you're hyping it, I need episodes of this. No, no, listen, listen. This is This is literally, the sickest date idea you can think of. Start a podcast? All right, hear me out. So, <laughs> so all you need, oh all you need mm. is a place to go. It could be anywhere. A place to go, a phone, mm. and two sets of earbuds or AirPods. Hear me out. Music? What? What you guys do, <laughs> what you guys do, you go on a music date Oxford you guys go through the city yeah, and play music now nah, listen listen so you so shout out, to, shout out to sponsor jaybirds <laughs> no nah, i'm joking but but yeah so pretty much what you do you guys share music because music i feel like right away if you guys have the same music taste you're gonna vibe you know what i mean or if they can put you on something different that's or true. yeah like or that too thing or that too you find a song through them it's true. not you said what's the best date in general so you everybody loves music record. Everybody loves music. Sophia, if a man tells you, yo. Why are you, ask her. Okay, you too. If, if a man tells you, yo, bring your AirPods and phone, we're gonna meet up at the park. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I'm not, no, you don't say we're gonna meet up at the park. That, that's El Riz, that's El Riz. You say it like this, you say it like this. I'm gonna take you on a music date. What's that? It's a surprise, I'll show you. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. No, no, no. We gotta ride on a mic for a Listen, listen. Imagine, imagine. So, so, so you can you can go you can go to anything. You can go to the aquarium. Okay. You can play tracks together and listen to each other's music. You guys can go to downtown, just walking through the city streets at nighttime. Do you not talk? No, you're gonna talk. No, you're gonna talk too. Wow, why are you listening to music? That's a good conversation start. Like for me, that would just make me nervous. I'd just be like, he's not gonna like this song. He's not gonna like this song. Oh, okay, that's true too. That's true. No, no, but but that's how you know for sure. That's how you know for sure if you're gonna vibe with that person. There's some people that okay, just don't listen good. to music. It's a fail safe. Like, yeah, that's good if you both smoke though. weed. That's like Sorry? Behavior. If you both smoke weed, that's a good idea. If you both smoke weed too? Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah, then you're just vibing. Then, then you're just, yeah, just yeah, vibing. Yeah, but that's so, that's so like subjective. If you I both smoke, smoke weed. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. So if I don't <laughs> smoke weed, I can't. No, no, I'm saying you can do it. You can do, you can enjoy music however. Yeah. You I can enjoy music however. I guess the more the merrier. For me, like, okay, is it a no for you guys? Like if, you don't listen to the same music as your partner? Yeah, because no, I, I, I don't even care about uh, it. No, 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 I really? do. No. Really? If, why if they be can better, put you on cool stuff, why I've be done better? it before why and be I hate better, it. Bro, but listen, listen, listen the, the, the only thing, she has to listen to Cardi, bro. If she doesn't listen to Playboy Cardi, I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it. That's okay, I, I used to be on that tip. I used to be on the tip, but it just, it, it, trust me, it's not worth it. So I won't lie, I bump young boy morning tonight. So if you can't, if you're gonna be annoyed from that, just cut. But my baby loves young boy. Cause, cause in my in my opinion, it's like it's like you don't want to waste your time, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't want to waste your time with somebody you're not gonna vibe with the right way, and that way you're gonna find out. Like, that's all the that, test. I think that is not for everybody. Like, yeah. I could probably be with someone who doesn't listen to the same music. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think strong. No, yeah, sorry, sorry. Like it's just happen, having an open ear. Like if you have an open ear to music, I think you're good. Facts. Like yeah. even if well, you have I guess I guess for me, because I'm a very like I'm a very like if you're open to hearing the, these type of tracks and you're not like a hater, you're not just bummy yeah. and like you don't think it's gonna be lame and you can have fun with so little. Because yeah. like I was saying, the park date. You can only do that with a few people. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then this type of date, it's kind of that same sense, but it's still more open where they have a chance to to impress you or like change your mind. That's true. Yeah. Hit or miss. It's how you go. It's yeah. really, it goes super well and or so because oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put it in your in your in your perspective. Like, yeah. think of this idea. Like you're hanging out with this girl. She doesn't seem like she listens to this type of music, mm -hmm. and then she puts you on. You're like, holy shit, she listens to that. Yo, but I feel like all that stuff is like yeah. talked about like before the first date, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, but that's the, the first date, date though. That's, that's like the first like date. If the like, girls play music and I don't even know. I'm gonna cap and be like, oh my god, this is amazing. Well, yeah. true, true. That's true too. That's true too. That's true too. You wanna finesse it? Okay. Oh my yeah, god. Like, think, yo, 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 think yo, about think about any medium of of art, film, music. Uh, Honestly, literally yeah, any it could work for any. Uh, I think a lot of growth comes from being someone that can like open your ears or your eyes to anything and genuinely take it. And if you don't like it, say you don't like it. Yeah. And if you like it, good. Your partner just puts you on something really cool. You know. Yeah, yeah. At least being open to watching films and stuff like maybe com or uh, romantic movies aren't your thing, but like this person has really good taste in movies in general. No, nah, yeah. That's so you true. like find that deep cut. Mm -hmm. in, in somewhere you would have never looked, you know? Yeah, because the yeah, one that I hate, I hate like when I'm with a girl and like she's not like open to like the stuff like I like. Like she's even like giving the chance. That's my biggest pet peeve. Like she doesn't give the chance at all. Like if someone doesn't try new food, I'm like, you're bored. Picky. Oh, no, yeah. you're, you're, like, like, I'm okay if you don't yeah. like it, but like at least be like be open to like right, try sure. it or something. Like I don't know. Yeah. Well, would you say that's number one for for a thing what? for like compatibility is like openness? Yeah, yeah, for sure. General honesty, openness. Yeah, that should be like a standard though. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. people don't have that. Some people like to live in a world where people aren't honest with them, though. Like, it makes them happy to yeah. have someone gas them up or not. Call and then them it up becomes the idea in your head, right? Yeah. It becomes like you fall in love with the idea of a person rather than the person themselves. Yeah. And then yeah. Damn. Mm. Yeah. PTSD, <laughs> bro. Damn. Yeah. You okay, bro? <laughs> PTSD, bro. <laughs> you need to see. All right. You want to hit the next question? Yeah. yeah next one. All right. Let's go. Deep. Next topic. Next topic. Okay. Yeah, this one's a deep one because I feel yeah. like we're getting into the, that deep, deep dive. Yeah. Pause. Ready? This one's some thoughts, W. Daniel. Thoughts, what yes. is everyone's take on the afterlife? I don't care. It's deep as fuck. I, I don't care where I go. I don't care where. For me, like wherever you believe in, yeah. that's where you're gonna go. Like if you oh, truly man. believe that you're going to heaven, I, I think you're really gonna go there. If you truly don't believe in the afterlife, then like there's gonna be none for you. Mm. It's hard to say because none of us would know the answer. Mm -hmm. But I feel like a lot of us just wanna believe in something right because i think if you don't believe in anything at all that's that's a harsh way to live yeah. i i find that i think that the mind puts you in wherever you want to be at the end like mm -hmm. your mind runs through images and the, what you want and what you believe in will happen it's just 
whether or not that's actually real to reality. Like if people believe about having a second life, your body will imagine that second life as you're dying. Yeah. And you'll live out that life, but it might not be real exactly. in a sense. Like it's almost as if you're living it out in your last dying breaths, this like second life that you get, but you don't actually, like it's not real to reality. Mm. It's not an actual second life. It's what your mind imagines it to be. When you, you say second life, do you only have two lives? Wait, what? What do you mean two lives? Life? Life? Like they say it's the second life. No, it's, it's kind of like, like reincarnation. Oh, okay. I've heard Like what happens after you die? I want to reincarnate into like a dog or some shit. Or like where, where I just don't have to do anything. Oh. Uh, I, I, I heard, I heard, I heard um, if you reincarnated as a dog or like dogs are criminals. That's what I heard. Right. That's the theory. Yeah, the like if you're an animal, because in a lot of cultures. The chihuahua, chihuahua, man. Chihuahua. Remember that? We had that so that, that theory I had on, on, on your podcast, yeah. it was pretty much, it was pretty much like, all chihuahuas were probably some serial killer ass motherfuckers, yep, yep, bro. Yo, his dog, serial killer. Yeah. Serial killer. Yo, right killer. Right when you walk in the crib. And, and you bro. know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? So my chihuahua, right? My theory, my theory is that my chihuahua was actually a, a drug cartel boss. This is crazy. Oh this is crazy. You know why? Because first of all, chihuahuas, they're from Mexico. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Okay. Yeah. And if the theory is that dogs are criminals or evil people in their past life, why does my dog know when I have like my airsoft gun and it clicks, he knows the sound of <laughs> mechanics on a gun, bro. Really? <laughs> he barks at me and he gets pissed. Damn. Like he knows exactly, like my theory is that right before he died, that was the last sound he heard. Oh, so he got shot. Yeah. yeah. He got shot. Oh, imagine. Oh, that's my Damn. Imagine that. Yeah. Sorry, what was the question again? This guy gives a dog oh, um, what do you yeah. think the afterlife is? Like, what do I think it is? Yeah. Where do you think you go been- or do you go anywhere? I think so too. Heaven? I yeah. Heaven. So, uh, yo, if you believe God in heaven, did. do you believe in hell God too? God did. Do you believe in hell as well? Oh my gosh. Uh, I think so. Okay. Think. Yeah. Nah, cause I want to say like, I feel like it's kind of important to believe in hell. Like just because you don't want to go there. Yeah. So like, it's kind of going to like teach you to like want to go to heaven. I think you have to believe in both though. I, I feel like, yeah. yeah. There's, there's, there's no way there's one. You don't think that's there for a sense of like control though? Like mm. hell, like get, having consequences for wrongdoings. Uh-huh. Like I'm not religious at all, yeah. but you know, you hear some of the things they say where it's like, oh, you can just like on your deathbed ask for forgiveness and you're good. Mm. You just walk through the gates of heaven like immediately. I don't know if I'm misquoting that, but <laughs> like if if you don't ask for forgiveness, then what? You go to hell. I think I think it's like um because. It's, we're talking about something that we can't see. We can't comprehend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Loki, Loki, the afterlife is something we won't be able to comprehend. But my perception of it is it really knows your true self. When I communicate with you, when I communicate with any of you guys, I'm, I'm speaking and I'm projecting my message, my tone, but you don't know for sure if I'm actually right. Yeah, like you can't see my soul like if I'm lying or like you know if I have intentions or whatever. Yeah, but in terms of hell, like... The reason you don't just come and punch me randomly yeah. is because there's going to be consequences yeah. in the mm. afterlife. That's like that's why we're controlled. That's why we can sit in a room together and not like kill each other yeah, and get primal about th- it. That's why I feel like it's important to have like that belief that there actually is a hell mm. because that's going to stop you from like doing all these evil actions because you don't want to go to hell. Like nobody wants to go to hell. Yeah, facts. So like yeah. I feel like you got, you got to have that. In, like, what's the, what's that meme of uh, when you're on the stairway and then like God has a list of the, all the bad shit that you yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're still getting it? No. <laughs> I mean, yo, but what's what like what are what is God's actual criteria? If there is a God, mm-hmm. um, like what's the criteria? Because because the Bible is written by humans and it's translated yeah, hundreds yeah. of times. Like now we're at this point where the Bible's basically broken telephone. Yeah, you know they even had the law about like a man shall never lay with another man. It doesn't mean you can't be gay. It was basically saying like if you're sleeping, your homie's out working. Yeah, and if he comes home and sleeps, you go out and work. I think, but people have spun that because oh, yo wasn't like the the Bible like kind of like sent. From God to us. That's what that's yeah. That's what they're saying. I feel like God is based off of love. Like he, that, I was gonna say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah he love just and peace. Wants love for all of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I feel like like for me, even as like a really little kid, I wouldn't say it was just morals that were put into me growing up. It's like a conscience. Like I could feel like inside something's telling me like that's right or wrong. Mm-hmm. Before I was like worried about going to a bad place or going to a good place. It was just like. <laughs> Something inside of me told me, like, don't do that. It'll make you feel bad. It'll make someone yeah. else feel bad, like, if that makes sense. The Bible has really good teachings. Like, if you just read it face value, yeah. like, the commandments are legit. Like, don't do this, don't do that. It's very simple. It's, they're not asking much mm-hmm. of you. I, I think at the end of the day, is it's like your true soul, like your true soul, your true intention that you actually 
Because look, look, if I go, let's say I want to go and get a job somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. I could have other intentions that nobody else knows about but me. And yeah. I think God or whoever the higher power is, sees it transparent. Like sees exactly what you want to do, knows exactly what you're trying to do with your life. Yeah. And if you were actually evil, you're evil. Like they're going to sense it. Like there's no hiding it. But if you're actually good and you're good, then you go to the right place, you know? Yeah, I guess ultimately I don't care where I go after I die, but I think it's beautiful to think that like I'll get another shot or like a next life at it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you think some people have old souls, some people have young souls. Like I totally like believe that. Yeah. What do you think you are? Oh. Think you're young. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, put like old, older young soul. <laughs> you think you're young soul or old soul? I think old. I think I was somebody's grandpa. In my last life. Like, <laughs> you like, said, I, yeah. like that. I don't know why yo. I get the energy from you. Too, <laughs> I don't know why. I just get the energy. It's giving Lolo, 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 Sasha. <laughs> Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. If I'm dead, I'm dead. Like, I don't like... So you have that, like, that, that's like a nonchalant <laughs> approach too, right? Because, like, at, at the end of the day, you you don't know for sure, but you can you don't have to live in, in a fear or live in, like, a... Yeah, but you don't have to, like, live with thinking, oh, I have to do this this way. I yeah. think if you live free and just have good intention, you'll be rewarded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as you said before, you can't mm -hmm. see intention. Like, have you seen the Jeffrey Dahmer thing that came oh, out that on Netflix? Mm -hmm. yeah. so I, I watched the first episode and I was like, I don't even want to continue this because yeah. it's almost I too real. It. Like, yeah. I lost yeah. my appetite. But the, Yo, the, talk about it, Gavin, because I, I haven't like watched it yet. Yeah, I haven't seen either. You, you want, want me to summarize thing? his crime? No. So what I did is the day after I went and I actually watched like a 30 minute interview, I believe by ABC on Jeffrey Dahmer. So it's the real Jeffrey Dahmer. Mm -hmm. Like, the the character was played phenomenally after watching this yeah. interview, but it's like he seems like such a normal guy. He's talking about like brutally killing these people, but he's so articulate and like calmly spoken. If you like, they'll ask him, "Oh, did you like what you did?" And he's like, "Yeah, I had like these really, you know, cool fantasies about like chopping someone's head off or something." Uh. It's like. If someone said that to me so calmly, I would question if they were being serious. If they were being serious or yeah. just like joking. But it, yeah. What is it, 17 it, yeah. people? RP to the 17 man's. And this was over nine years he was getting away with it. So this well, is like yeah. someone who is so crafty and manipulative, right? Yeah, not, not to give a, away because I know people are going to watch it. But it's like just a guy in uh, an apartment yeah. who goes out to clubs, specifically gay clubs, mm. and takes them back and, and does what he does. I'm not going to say because I might get flagged. But they analyze them. Yeah, yeah. He mutilates the bodies too, yeah, right? A lot. Does, he does a lot. Cannibalizes them. Holy he shit. wanted to keep the skulls um, he kept, to like kept reflect. Skulls. On, Holy yeah, to reflect on the moments. Like he found it very beautiful. Yeah, and and the cops didn't do anything because one, he just said, "Oh, I'm just I'm just gay. It's just me and my boyfriend." The cops were homophobic back then. They're like, "Aye, right, bro, do your do your thing." Mm. That's why he got away with this for so long. He got so crazy to a point where he worked at a chocolate factory. He would bring a head and put it in his locker just to like flex. What the fuck? Yeah. He said like brought him excitement to know he was like so close to, I don't know. And the fucked up thing is um, the families yeah. that are still alive that, yeah. from the victims, Yeah, they're getting re-traumatized from the documentary. From watching it again. And they're not, they're not getting paid anything. That was one of the first Boosie takes I've ever seen and been like, yeah, this is real. Did you see him going off? He yeah. was like, yo, they got to delete this yeah, shit, man. man. They, they, they got to take this shit down, man. Shame on you, Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, actually, it's like, I, I can watch psychological thrillers and horror movies and, like, be okay after them because I know it's not real. But seeing this actually happen. And it's, it's like, true. When yeah. I watch the interview of him, he's, like, word for word, bar for bar, exactly what they showed in the show. It's so real. Fuck. It's scary. Yeah, enough about that. Is he alive? Huh? You no, know, he, he, he got, got killed in jail. He, he got yeah, he got killed in jail. Killed in jail. Like, he like got, he got targeted jail. type thing. Yeah, he got, he got killed in jail. Damn. I, Damn. I, I, I'm pretty sure, I was talking about this with someone, I'm pretty sure that jumped? the guy knew someone, like one of his victims or something like that. Uh -huh. And from there, it was wraps. Oh, like, it was back he pulled the top boy. Damn. He pulled the no, Duchesne. One thing I will say, though, is like, <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay to watch <laughs> like thrillers, horror movies, all that stuff and the mutilate, like whatever, like a show or a movie with mutilation. But like, it bothered that was one of the things that bothered because my girlfriend would want to watch it with me and i watched the first episode mm -hmm. and i just like i really don't like it at all i don't like the thought of being able to witness and the recreation and like the do you think it fucks with your mental do you think it's bad to watch these type of things i don't think it's sure? bad to i think you can watch it and that's fine i think people who over, I don't know. Because some people don't watch Euphoria I, I, I think, for that reason. I think What's people Euphoria? who use oh. it almost as like people who enjoy <laughs> it. Uh -huh. Like there's people who find interest in it and find it intriguing to watch that stuff. Um, but there's only so much that like me personally I can handle. And just knowing that what there's 
There was a 14 year old. The yeah, first, 14. like the first one or something on the episode, and I just the thought of that just yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't like, get behind it. I feel like you have to have like a certain level of like maturity to watch those. Yeah, true. Like you, you have to, let me give you two yeah. scenarios though. So you watch a movie, it's scary, but then it just ends, right? Mm. That's first scenario. Second scenario, movie's ending based on a true story. Oh, 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 yeah. I remember that's what fucks me up. I'll be fine. I'll sleep fine if it's not based on a true story. But as soon as it is, or it's like something real, like obviously a werewolf is gonna like, you know, in the moment I'll be like, oh, that was a little creepy. Yeah. But then it's like someone who just casually killed someone in their house. I'm like, this can happen to anyone. Mm. And I'll sleep a little uncomfortably. But based on a true story, that yeah, means someone man. like truly got smoked that way. Yo, I remember when, when paranormal activity came out. When paranormal activity came out, I said based on the true story, oh my god, I was stressing. I was stressing. Yo, what was the one that we watched, Ryan? La Llorona? Oh that, that's based, that's, that's true. That's true. What is it? That, that's true. Uh, that's Ed and Lorraine um, Warren yes. from Conjuring. Yeah. It was it was so fun. It was so fun and jokes. Possession. Based on a true story. <laughs> Boom. Possession. Because, like, I believe in that shit. So it's like, I don't want that to happen to yeah. me. No, because I was driving home late at night. Like, you know when you have to drop all your friends off? And it's just you? Mm. <laughs> no, that's wild. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I'm driving down Finn Street. Oh yeah, and it looked like his like uh, like a real house too. Yo, you know what's scary, Gavin? Oh fuck, you're gonna get scared. What? So just recently, like knock on wood, I really hope it's not haunted. Is this metal? <laughs> That's not even wood, but like, <laughs> let's pretend I'm knocking on wood right now. Damn, I don't know why, but recently in my room, my lights been turning off by themselves. Oh no, nah, I'm not going. I wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm like dead ass. I'm dead ass. <laughs> I'm dead ass. So I actually caught it. I actually caught it on a podcast on CTM oh, when man. I was with Samir. For some reason, it turned off by itself. Maybe the ghost saying you should sleep more. No, from. maybe the, <laughs> Samir brought the ghost because that's the only time it happened. No, but maybe. Wait, so this this was last night. This is I, I just came home, turned on the lights. I'm just chilling. All of a sudden, off? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? And on. Did it flick or like was no, it long? No, it was, it was long. Oh, fuck. And on. But the power didn't go out because I had LEDs on too. Yeah. It's like the Stranger Things thing where they speak in binary through yeah. the lights. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Man, speaking in Morse code. What's Morse code for you, by the way? Morse code. Who asked that? No, no, I, I just had to read you. <laughs> oh, my God. Also, also, I've been having like weird dreams too. I don't want to manifest right, none of it, though. You know what I mean? I don't want to manifest none question. of that shit. But, but I would have dreams like shadow figures like just looking at me and shit and you know how you told me that thing if if you have a so you said if you have a chair in your room yeah, while you, you sleep you can't leave it facing towards you yeah. mirrors as well why, 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 why? i woke up chair? the chair was yeah, facing if towards me if your chair is, is facing the bed that means the demon is allowed to sit there and watch you i turn my chair towards my thing <laughs> yeah, no, every cool. night Wait, yeah because it Damn. blocks my fan so i'm like oh whatever i'm just turn it oh shit yeah Oh my Whoa. God, what if they're I, just I sitting watching me? It's like. So, wait, 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 because you always have sleep paralysis, right? No, I've gotten it twice. Oh, okay. That's okay. Once okay. Or twice. I've never yeah. gotten it. You never got it before? Never. No, I got it before. Like once, but it was like it's miles. That was like, Did oh. you see figures, though? Huh? Did you see figures? I seen Sharon. He's like, yo, wake up. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, I didn't see no figures. The trailer I'm going to tonight, there's like a, an abandoned farm in the field near it. And, um,. So in in the farm, in the middle of it, there's like a noose hanging. I don't know if like oh. kids set it up or whatever, but it looks pretty old. That's yo, like, that's yo, like. Wait, Dino, bro. Nah, nah. It's like two minutes away from my trailer. Dino had a trailer like 30 minutes from me. Oh, the trailer boys. That's so weird that you said that because we just, we went to, uh, we went to Abandoned Varn 2. Yeah. yeah I saw the post that, that video. That wasn't that far. And like there was, there's a noose. There's a noose hanging yeah, there's a noose. Okay. in the yeah. thing. So there, there's a noose and then there's like, it's, it's a wooden barn. Mm -hmm. um, three levels. Top, mid. Bottom level. There was no. Okay, there was only two. Yeah. Okay, so this one's three levels. Has a noose hanging in the middle, and like, okay, just just a noose and like maybe hay on the floor. So we crawl through the crack to go to the bottom. Yeah. There's like ripped up baby dolls and shit. Holy on the floor, shit! You know? And so we're hanging down there and we're like joking. I think me, my brother, and my cousins. This was years ago. Yeah. And so we're fucking around, whatever. And my cousin is upstairs, just like chilling there, mm. like just kind of keeping watch. He didn't want to come down. Nothing happened to him, but. He's watching us the whole time. And now we go up, like, out of the basement. Yeah. There's a chair under the noose. Oh, fuck. And, like, he swears on everything he didn't put it there. He was minding his business. But, like, where did this chair it, come It from? appeared. It just, like, appeared. It just appeared there. Oh. Sophia would have just sat But down. You, you, know, you know why, you know why a chair crazy. would be there, though, right? <laughs> no. Cause, oh, because they used to stand on the chair and kick yeah, it. Yeah, that's how they do it. Like, yeah. to hang yourself, you would have to stand on a chair to, like, actually hang yourself yeah. and kick it.
Yeah, Fuck. I, I assume that's what it was, but like that's it was crazy because this kid like on everything, and he wouldn't even prank us. Like he was just chilling. <laughs> this is Damn, he's like, so he's that one down there. Yeah, you oh. can ask him. he's like that friend in the group what that's the like hell? calm. Like yeah, that's Dino. Kinda, and he wouldn't, he wouldn't fuck around. Well, when we came up, he what thought we were mean? fucking <laughs> with him because oh, we were like, yo, oh, those are the chairs. Did you put the chair here? Yo, 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 you know what? Remind me of the vlog. Yeah, with the doll, bro. Oh, the doll, bro. When the doll started moving. No, Chen didn't do it. Yeah, it was Chen the whole though. time. Bro, oh, Chen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My kid could never have dogs, like them scary dogs. Why? Man. No. I watched Annabelle too much, man. Yo, that's your Chucky? <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't. Have you guys seen the new movie Pearl? Pearl, yeah, yeah. Pearl. I, I seen, I, I seen watch. the X, but you I haven't seen X Pearl. Before. X, I didn't like so much. It was all right. Mm -hmm. Pearl is incredible. Really? I think she's one of the best like horror movie villains of all time. What? Better Damn, than Ghostface. Where? Better than Chucky. Like on Netflix? Uh, no, it's, it's in theaters. It just came out. I watched it in a drive-in, which was like perfect. Yo, you should yo. watch it in a drive-in because it's like old style film. Yeah. Beautifully yeah. directed. Like the visuals are nuts. And so Pearl is just like she she's a deep character, bro. She uh give a give a summary. Give a summary because they love that. Yo, that's a Something big statement. About bro. It. That's a big yeah. statement. Okay, so like one example of how she is, she thinks uh she has these very like grandeur thoughts, like I don't even know what to call it. She's almost a narcissist, but mm -hmm. she's also like, she understands people. If someone's acting a weird way, she'll catch on to it. It's like 48 laws of power shit. Like she can 48 reek. laws of power. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's, I won't spoil shit, but she definitely does uh, destroy her enemies mm. to say, but they're enemies in her head, right? They, it can be a completely normal person. That's like, yo, Carlos, you want to go for lunch? And Carlos will like make up a white lie. She'll catch on to it and mm. she'll kill the person. Damn. Wow. Damn. wow. Damn, bro. But yeah, don't want to give too much away, but she's just like, you You actually feel bad for her character. And she went on this monologue. It was Mia Goth, who Mia Goth is Shia LaBeouf's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mia Goth is like one of the most incredible actresses of all time. After this mm -hmm. movie, I got so much respect for her. She goes on this like six minute monologue about why she cheated on her boyfriend who was at war. Yeah. And it was like so good. If someone had cheated on me and said that to me, I would understand completely. Really? Damn. Really? I don't know it's about weird, that. bro. You got to see it. <laughs> I don't know about that, bro. <laughs> Nah, you That's have to crazy. watch it like when most like if someone cheats in a situation, they kind of give like, you know, a little BS example. She really went through a whole psychological like mm. I felt this way and this way. And it was like a whole like six minute monologue. It was a beautiful movie, but like beats out Ghostface, Chucky, any other wow, of your really horror damn. people. She's toxic. That's, That's a big statement, bro. <laughs> She's, toxic. She's not toxic. And, and it's kind of <laughs> realistic, too, because it's not no supernatural shit. No, it's not supernatural. I'm telling you, the, that's the scariest movie. The scariest movies are all the stuff that can happen in real she life. She could really do this, though. That's like Smile, the one that just came out. Oh, yeah, that's more like that, 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 marketing. You see is that, that still out? Yo, they be marketing it, it's, it's almost yeah. out. You should go watch it. Well, at baseball games, they'll just hire actors to be like this. Yeah, that's fuck. That's fuck. That's so fuck. fuck. And then at yeah. CTV, the girls, like, the girls talking, and then behind is like... Oh, well, what do you think is like the scariest movie you guys watched? Ever. Hereditary is very yeah, unsettling. Yeah, like Hereditary is still up there for me. I don't, I don't think Hereditary is scary. It's just like yep. a disturbing. Like creepy? Yeah. 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 I don't think any movie's ever been Which like one? too terrible. Paranormal activity. Paranormal activity. I feel like I watched it when I was young. That's That's like like paranormal? It's like, now, it's like now, but when you're- Insidious. 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 Was that the one we no, watched? No, we watched the Sinister. We watched Sinister. Sinister. Sinister, sinister. sinister I need to watch fun. like another horror movie because I actually really don't know like what's the scariest. Oh, thing you know what's? I, I actually need to like watch something like because I don't know the last time I saw something like damn I'm terrified. Like, no, but you watched Tusk with us though. Tusk, oh, oh, movie, that movie. Tusk. Oh my oh, god, god bro! Nah, I missed that one. Bro, that I watched it at work so after you described awesome. it on the podcast or in the What'd Discord. You think about it? Messed up. I think it was like genius. It, yeah, it's yeah, really genius good. Who came up with that? But it was so like. It's oh, like man, disturbing, it's disturbing right? yeah it's it's messed up so one of the one of the most fucked ones i i watched recently was um run we watched it we watched it on discord you guys ever heard about that run, no, yeah, no, no, never seen it's it. crazy okay so pretty much it's this daughter right she grew up in a wheelchair and she, her legs are paralyzed oh wait on netflix oh, yeah yeah it's on netflix yeah. just I now i saw the clip of her at the pharmacy on instagram that's going around yeah right so now. her whole life she was paralyzed and she couldn't she can't walk and she's confined to her bed and her mother has to take care of her. True story, by the oh. way. Based on a true story? Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, it's based on a true story? Based on a true story, Fuck yeah. Up. It's an actual report. I didn't know that. Yeah, there's a whole court case and like uh, investigation. Holy shit. Okay, so pretty much what happens, bro, she, she finds her pills, right, that she's supposed to take. And the prescription isn't to her. It's to her mother. And she's like, why is my mother's name on my pills? So she gets sussed out. Now- she ends up, 
she doesn't want to tell her mother because if she's trying to do something to her, she's not trying to make it obvious and get caught, yeah. right? So she goes on the phone and she dials like a random number for a stranger to help her. And she talks to his neighbor or like anybody, this stranger, and asks, can you Google this name of this pill and tell me what color is it? Now, the pill that she's supposed to be taking is a different color than the ones that she has. So her mother's giving her different pills. Dog pills specifically. Yeah, and she ends up um, running away from her mother at like a, at a movie theater. So she, she goes to watch a movie with her mother. She insists, like, can we go watch a movie? Can we go watch a movie? And she goes to watch a movie, tells her mother, okay, I'm going to go to the washroom real quick. So she dips out and she goes and sneaks to a pharmacy. Right away goes to the pharmacist and asks her, can you please tell me what are these pills for? And the pharmacist pretty much tells her, yo, these pills aren't for humans. These are for dogs. This is for numbing their legs. And if you would take it, it would paralyze your legs. Yeah. Bro. Fuck. So her mother's manipulating her and making her legs paralyzed so she can take care of her. So it was like, yeah. it was almost that thing of she wanted to be a, a mother so bad and take care of her so bad uh -huh. that she was willing to put shit in her system to paralyze her own daughter. She wanted full control. Remember, she used <laughs> to like fun. coddle her in every be which way, but wouldn't man, let her like be herself. Yeah, you know? like so strict and not allowed to do anything. That's actually fucked. That's actually That's fucked, terrifying. bro. And, and later in the movie, it's so, oh my God, later in the movie, she finds this box in the basement and it's like a bunch of pictures of her when she was a kid. Mm -hmm. And it's also, there's this news article and this news article pretty much says there was this, there was this child that was stolen from the hospital long, long time ago. And it was her. So she was stolen from the hospital. Yeah. And That's this crazy. random lady just picked her up. Wait, so yo, that, that was based on the true story? Based on a true story. So, yeah. Which makes it even scarier. But like, that's so realistic. Yo. You could easily find dog pills and do that to someone, which is scary. That's Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like literally the, the scariest shit that you can see in media or on film, anything, is the stuff that can really happen. The truth is scary sometimes, guys. Yeah. Damn, All the time. Bro. Okay, other than movies, like what's the scariest thing you guys heard? Like ever? Or anything that you experienced personally? Even if it could be like a, a near-death situation. Oh, shit. Almost dying in a car crash. Oh, yeah. yeah. You want to talk about that? Oh, Tell us about that. Not really. Insurance is still, you know? On oh, so oh like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bleep it out. Bleep out the whole thing. <laughs> 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 insurance is watching. You have to get that bag, bro. Huh? I don't think it's... Nah, 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 insurance companies aren't watching. Put the, put the black bar over her eyes. Just this part. And change her voice for this. That's fine. Though, was anything like bad, like injured, or you not badly? Surprisingly, okay. wow, nothing bad. It looked like the the crash looked yeah. terrible. Bro, if someone like, actually was in the passenger, they would have probably like, oh, like you know. Fuck. Man. I remember just seeing your snap. I know. No, <laughs> no like, literally, like I didn't feel anything at first. Like ambulance came, whatever, and I was like, oh, you know, like I'm fine, like whatever. Because of the adrenaline, yeah, you feel right? it the next day. Yeah. Then the next day, I woke up. I didn't like. I didn't even sleep. I woke up after like two hours of sleeping. And then Damn. I felt everything. I like couldn't move my body. I was on painkillers like the oh, whole day. Yeah. Holy shit! Do you think? Do you think that experience like changed your life though? Like you would look at life differently? Uh, I mean, I don't drive on the highway really mm. anymore. So like any side roads, I'll take. Yeah. I like wake up an extra three hours before. But other than that, like you don't think about anything else. Like you, it, it just happened in the past, and like you don't. Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't know. If something comes up, I'll be like. No. That's like what happened to uh, you guys. Remember Michael Dillon from high school? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He got yeah. into a really bad accident because we were on the same soccer team. Yeah, and he was coming. I, I think it was a practice. He was coming to a practice and it was raining, and like he fully flipped his car. And he's a tall guy. Pretty sure everyone kind of remembers Michael Dillon somewhere like mm -hmm. six he's, two, he's six tall. three. Like the whole driver's side was like the roof was caved in. Like it was crushed. Damn. Like I don't even know how this guy was sitting in his chair, but like no injuries. It was just one of those things where it's just like somehow he like God, gets out. God did. God, God, God did. God did. God did. God did. See, like, like it's, it's mind blowing how like good our technology is for like collision stuff, and we don't think about it. Like it's kind of one of those things where it's like these cars are kind of built to be in accidents, and that's kind of fucked up to think about. Yeah, I got hit by a car too. You got hit by a car? When I was riding my bike. Oh, yeah. Why well, was on his bike? See, it wasn't, see, when I hear these stories, I feel bad because mine wasn't that bad. Like. I was oh. just, 
But we did laugh at him for. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but why, yeah. but why, why we laughing, bro? Why we laughing, bro? Laugh, bro. <laughs> my bad, bro. Why is it funny when it's a bike but not a car? <laughs> I know. <laughs> nah, it was, like, Someone for me, hit like, by a car is so quiet. It wasn't even. I got hit on a bike. It's. Comedy, <laughs> yeah. Like everyone's like, "Why aren't you wearing uniform?" Like, yeah, I got hit by a car, man. <laughs> Wait, what? I never that wore a uniform for like a year. You were saying like everybody from their podcast, like what's something you remember? And that was oh funny. yeah, that was a story <laughs> a lot of us remember. That was a yeah. Funny story. Were you in a near death accident? Nah, just my car crash last year. Still. Oh yeah. I remember yeah, just cool. leaving Don's and then I'm taking a left. <laughs> Boom. Bro, my glasses gone. My glasses are like this. Yeah, bro. Right? Yeah. Bro, and mind you, three headed snake by Young Thug is still playing. <laughs> Yo, is that a curse song? Huh? Is that a curse song? That was that was a song that was playing. Do you ever think about that? Like, what if your song choice is poor? Like, oh ambulance God, is coming dying, over and you're bumping some crazy like, Some songs are actually like <laughs> bad curse like that. Yeah. It is? Yo, it's 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 um it's actually like reported by uh people uh paramedics mm -hmm. uh -huh. that it's like actually really like bone chilling to hear the music like playing after the car crashes because the battery's still good yeah so oh that's scary do you were Damn. you listening to music when your situation it was happened like some throwback akon or something akon's curse <laughs> <Acon's curse. Acon's laughs> <Acon's curse. laughs> it was intentional bro any any near death damn near death experience you know what I, I'm, I'm gonna tell the story I remember I had this bicycle, yeah. but it couldn't turn left. It can only turn right. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember I was going down like this big hill. Like this hill was big. I'm going full speed. I'm standing up and everything. Yeah. Wait, no. At, at the bottom of the hill, the left turn. turn. <laughs> I, can't turn left. I can't turn left. So I'm going. I hit the curb. And bro, I land on the bike handle, and the bike handle is like it's in my gut. Oh, oh, like it's literally like in like, my stomach. Like it's bleeding and everything. So, <laughs> is that pause? So yo, I, I remember. In your guts, huh? I remember. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. <laughs> but yeah, yo, I just remember like I was just there. I was there just bleeding on the floor. I'm like, oh, no, shit. Oh it was, were you pouring? Huh? Pouring blood? No, nah, no, nah, it wasn't like pouring, but like it was bleeding. Like you could see it through the shirt. Oh fuck, yeah, yeah. But yo, ever since that, I, yo, I, I didn't ride a bike for like a year after that. Did you throw out the Damn. bike? Oh, I, I say, yo, my, my my bike had no brakes too. Oh, no, 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 no brakes. No brakes. Only, only turning out. right at top speed. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you go like this to take a left. You go like this. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he turned right and then go like that. You just have to go like that. Right. the hill and said, fuck it. But man, but yeah, 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 I, really, I really thought I was going to die, bro. What possessed you to ride that bike? Oh, <laughs> I'm just that guy, bro. Oh, I'm just that guy. That's not that thing about me, like, like growing up, your cars know, like, I always had so many bikes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I always had like, no so many bikes is out of nowhere. But he looked at the multiple and he said, This one yeah. is all bikes. They're all bust up. He had 10 bikes that only turned right. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had 10 bikes that only turned left. My nah. first turn is a left. Let me take the oh, one that I can only go right. right. <laughs> Yo, I, I never had a bike with brakes in my life. Or never yeah. had a bike with brakes? No, nah, never. Oh, hey. never, bro. I got bullied for having brakes on my bike at the skate park once. Oh, yeah, because BMX bikes, they don't. They don't have that. It wasn't even a BMX, bro. It was a regular bike, but the BMX kids. <laughs> Damn. Yeah? Yeah, the BMX kids were like, take the brakes off Like, your they don't bike, fuck bro. with safety, bro. Trust, trust. <laughs> they don't. I don't know what the point of that is. Did, did you wear your helmet too? Or? Oh, I have an interesting <laughs> question. I have a question. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, um, have you ever done anything for somebody that wasn't actually your character to impress them? Like, have you ever done something to impress somebody that wasn't you? That wasn't. I, was say, I think so. Yeah. He's like, yeah. Dick right do now. something out of your, let's say, moral or out of your personality to impress someone. Probably. I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. What, don't what remember. do you think you've done? I, I think I have like one specific really cringe experience that yeah. I think about a lot. Like <laughs> this is very embarrassing. So I'm very like, I, I'm a talkative person, mm -hmm. but I don't really go out of my way to like do, you know, extroverted shit. Like I hate karaoke. Oh, I you don't do karaoke, karaoke yeah. for anything. Like I'll sit in the corner of the room. I'm very uncomfortable singing even for jokes in front of people. But I was on vacation once as a young man mm -hmm. and uh, I had a crush on this girl. And so yeah. karaoke was going on and her dad was there and her little sister was there. You're pointing out my girlfriend? <laughs> How she reacted? She's good? She's giving you a look. Stop. All right. The first so I, the thing when you laughed about the girls and that was this. <laughs> We're gonna, I have a two hour car ride with her after this, by the way. Everyone. All right. So I had a crush on this girl. Her dad's there. Her yeah. little sister's there. Actually, I think like, Mom's there too, bro. Whole family. So just to like, I was simping it, bro. 
I sang Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. That's a W song yeah. choice, though. <laughs> it's a w song. I did great, but I felt so embarrassed at because I'm like, this is so out of character. Like, you know, you drain yourself doing some shit you didn't want to do. Yeah. Your head hurts after. Do you think it was worth it, though? Bro, I was like 10. What, did, what was oh, I gonna true. get from I guess that? So, I guess so. <laughs> that's not worth it. You get a firm hug? handshake from her father, so. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I mean, if that's enough for me. Fam, it's for the parents. You gotta do whatever, you feel me? But I was never gonna 10, see this bro, girl again. At 10? At 10, 10, 10, that's crazy. That's at 10, that's crazy. I wasn't doing shit at 10. I feel like you should sing right now for your girl, you know what I'm saying? Sing the same. I feel like I shouldn't, to be honest. Sing right now. Wait, sing for for Ty? <laughs> right now. No, I'm kidding. Oh my god. No, but uh there there was one time where um my girl she goes to church every Sunday, right? Yeah. And I'm not the type of guy to go to church, right? Like I'm I'm still like Catholic. I I pray, but I'm not the type to go to church, sure, yeah. right? So it's funny because on a Sunday morning, she invites me to church. I'm like, okay, I have to go because I have to put a good impression for her parents. Mm -hmm. So I come out the room like nice spliffy Sunday. This is not me, fam. Like Sunday. <laughs> spliffy, spliffy. Come in with a, like, a, like plaid pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, a button up. My dad's like, my dad's like, yo, where you going? I'm like, oh, I'm going to church. This guy starts <laughs> back. This guy starts crying. He's like, yo, who? He's like, oh no, my, my girl goes to church. Like, and then my mom and dad's like, yo, remember when your dad used to do that for some other girls? Like, yo, you're just like him. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta do it. You know? Nah, bro. Yo, yo, I got one. <laughs> yo, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, yo, I, I got one for me and you, bro. I got one for me and you. What did we do? Yo, remember like. like he it was sang like, for Carlos. <laughs> Now, it was like back in like grade six or something. Yeah. But I remember this one teacher told us to do the talent show. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> I heard the story. Oh this is a terrible story. Okay, tell it, tell it. So like they told us to do a talent show because like, like we, we had like dance class. And like we, we did the dance and we thought it was so cool. You thought it was so we we cast, the bro. the coolest people in the school. I told the talent show time and we did it. And bro, it was the most cringiest thing I've ever seen. It was the most embarrassing thing ever. We, we were rolling on the floor. We didn't even know what we're doing, bro. <laughs> in front of the whole school. You know what's fucked? You know what's fucked? Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, oh my god! So at the time, I don't know why, but but I guess like during that the the YouTube climate at the time, doing doing like hip thrusts. Yeah. Oh it was god. it was funny. It was like trendy. <laughs> Huh? Was the Harlem, the Harlem Shake, Shake Times? times. Yeah, yeah, Harlem yeah. Shake Times. Harlem Shake like video the, hip, out. the hip thrust, right? So we started. We started our dance performance with Josh in the front of the stage doing hip thrusts like this, <laughs> right? So now, now it gets worse. It gets worse. So it was fire. It was fire when we did it for for our class because for our class we had these big ass speakers. For some reason, the speakers malfunction and they had to resort to one of those mini like i home That's really the i home speakers yo my parents said they couldn't even hear the music after we were done this so you just see josh no music no music we had to do that whole, bro, oh my bro. god that sounds traumatic bro yo, yo, i think the there's a video but the, the amount of people that talked to me after that asked me what i was doing <laughs> traumatizing I thought, what people. was the act? Like, I'd be so confused. Huh? I'd be so confused as to what the act was. Did they introduce you as anything? This is a talent show, yo, right? Yo, I, remember, I remember our name was like, oh, the, the Butterfly Yeah, boys, the Butterfly Boys, something like that. Yeah. So, something, cringe, something cringe. Something cringe, bro. Something cringe, bro. Oh, my God. It's great. You uh, did flutter quite a bit. That might be my most embarrassing moment ever. I, I totally forgot about it, though. Embarrassing? My dad is a very, like, to himself man. Yeah. He's not very like he's, he's encouraging at times, but when I was a kid, like this was one of the few times I've he's like come up to me like as a man and be like, that was good, that was good. Really, the yeah. Rick Astley when he did the when he did yeah. the karaoke. Yeah, I think he actually liked my singing. That's good shit. Bro. He knows, bro. Oh, oh the, yo, there was a there was a chance where we could have sold our morals and shit. Remember Cuba? Oh. Remember Cuba? So oh. every everyone everyone is like the white guy, the frat guy is there. Yeah. And me and Sharon, right? We were the innocent little immigrants on the on that trip. <laughs> so fucking, so so we're fucking we see we see trip. everyone getting hammered, mm. hammered. So we're like, I right, do we do we really just go and do that and, and you feel me? Or yeah. just to stay true to like what we are and now we we didn't we just mm. literally i think we were sober the whole trip no we were yeah we were we didn't even which drink is crazy like <laughs> we had like one he almost he almost killed me on that trip because um, I, I was so, so sick, sick. <laughs> and oh, bro, oh my god i was so sick and i was ready like there's a buffet every morning right? yeah yeah so i'm like yo 
no chair. Let's go to the buffet, fam. Like, I'm, I'm waiting. He's like, nah, the highlights are on. The highlights are on. <laughs> Wizards right? versus Celtics. Oh, oh I remember. <laughs> bro, and he's waiting. And I'm like, yo, bro, come on. Let's go. He's like, okay, we'll go. With, with the moment we get down, mm -hmm. no breakfast. I'm sick. I look pale. Oh, I have no food sick. in me. I was like, oh my yo, I want to get a coffee, fam. I was like, yo, hold on. Let's, let's see the fourth word. <laughs> 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 no, even, even what? We, me and Sharon just went to Dominican with some of our friends. Yeah. And this guy, we're, we got dinner planned. And he's like, wait, let me watch Arsenal. Arsenal's playing right now. I know. We have we have reservations booked at one of the Alucard restaurants, and we're just sitting there waiting. I'm like, yo, Chair, we kind of gotta go. He's like, yo, bro, bro, I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. Game's game's still going. No, to, get, to get you out, to get you out and do motives is very hard. Still, right, still. You need to give me a couple business days. <laughs> couple I, business you want me to pick a, a nice topic? Yeah, yeah. Let's switch it up. Let's switch up the vibes. A lie, that was a long ass topic. Yeah, we stayed on the topic. We just like God, scrambled yeah. through it. <laughs> that was one topic. That's I think Sharon and Brendan missed this, but that was Sharon's like crazy mom moment where he was like not letting Gavin eat. Were you here for that? <laughs> Which one? Carlos. Sorry? Remember we just spoke about the mom who's controlling of her daughter? Yeah. Like kept her in the wheelchair. That was chair to Gavin oh, in that situation, oh, bro. Oh, this guy's guy, oh, got you. Oh, that that could have been a move. Yeah. Down, yo, yo. If he succeeded, if he kept them out any longer, <laughs> Chan would have had a film about Bro, we <laughs> went down <laughs> and the man said the man in Spanish went. No, no breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The look I gave him, fam, I was that's like, nah, fuck, I want to go. Fuck, that's I, didn't, I didn't look at him for two hours. Yeah, I didn't speak. We didn't speak for two wow. hours. Wow. That's oh, fair, bro. Exactly. But that's the bond, though. That, I, think, I think that bonded us. That bonded us. Why didn't you go by yourself? Huh? No, because I was like, no, like, let's go together, fam. Like, that's how You could have went by yourself, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, but, but, but he was sick, though, right? He was, he was sick. Even if I'm sick, if, if, fam, my mentality, like, nah. if. No, ask Josh. Oh. Bro. These guys are the worst with fucking plants. Denzel, Josh, John, the worst with plants, especially <laughs> eating. My name, bro. I, I get emotional if I don't eat, bro. Like, I, I get, I get like starving, and I get, I get cheese. So I'll move mountains to get food, bro. Nah, no, he will. No, he will, bro. With the, the barbecue place. Yeah, yeah. Like I was working. It's like, yo, fam, what are you doing right now? Work it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go eat, bro. <laughs> like, Damn, I can't clock out right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't understand that. He doesn't but understand. when he wants food, he wants it now. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Like, no, no it, waiting. It's like, like I'll, I'll, I'll put it aside. Uh -huh. I'll put it aside until like I really need it, and then but when I really need it, anything goes, bro. Like I'm getting food that second. Yeah, 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 I'm the type of way I go. Like, like, yo, I told him like, yo, we're gonna get food in 30 minutes. He's gonna be like, nah, bro. Uh, if we're not going in five minutes, I'm eating yeah, right, right now. now. <laughs> I'm like, you can't wait 30 minutes? No, man. I you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, I'll be there in an hour. He's like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but here's the thing, though. I'll still chill with everybody to go eat. But, like, if they're taking too long, I'll get, like, something small. And then I'll go with you guys. <laughs> like, you I have to pace yourself. You know those yeah. ones when you have that set food you've been thinking about the whole day? Oh, yeah. And you open the fridge and it's gone? Oh, that's all. Oh. Yo, so see, that's the worst when you live with brothers. They're always going to eat your food, bro. No. Always. I know what the best meal is. What is it? What do you think? It's oatmeal. <laughs> She's like a what? oatmeal fanatic. She love loves oatmeal. oatmeal. That's not that drink that you always drink. What drink? That was all around your house. When, sure. Remember when me and Brandon came over, we were in doing insure? the pants. You drink insurance? Insure. 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 Gold drinks are certified. Insure. Like insure, <laughs> insure with ice. So insure with ice is fire. Insure. Insure. Yeah, yeah, I would drink that. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a diabetic one. Insure is certified. That's jokes. It's good. It's good. It's actually fire. Do you like chocolate or vanilla though? Chocolate. Chocolate. Uh, uh, I like both. Vanilla. I, I mess. I mess with both, but I like. I like vanilla, especially with with like hella ice, like ninety percent ice and then ten percent ice. What the? Yo. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's like the cold is just ice, and I just keep refilling it. Are you diabetic, or you just picked no. this specifically? Bro, save that for the diabetic. <laughs> 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 no, but my sugar <laughs> levels do go up and down more than most. So you know what? Maybe I do need it. That's crazy. I, I learned my lesson levels. trying something that wasn't for me. No, but it's good for you. It's good for you, right? Maybe. I smoked chemo weed one time. What? That's yeah. a thing? <laughs> what? what? Yeah, it's like very, very strong uh, cannabis. Oh, this shit. This was like in high school, right? So my chemo. parents... One rule, they're like, you can do it. We understand you do it. We don't want you to. But like, just don't get high at school. Yeah. So of course... First thing I do, I go to school. <laughs> school high. <laughs> nah, I go to school, and then on lunch, my friends are like, "Yo, come smoke, whatever." Um, one of the girls we were smoking with, her dad has cancer. Oh. Um, but sh he lets her like smoke his weed. Yeah, but yeah. She smokes like bong rips all day, so she's wow. good. Wow. 
I was the first person to go. So like eight of us were going to smoke. The first person to put the bong to my mouth. I smoke it, and I was smoking a lot this time. I had a high tolerance, bro. I lean back, and I started coughing so hard. And then I hand the bong to the person next to me, like, nah. Around the whole circle, everyone's like, nah, we're good, we're good. Bro, I was like, I was blacking out for like two hours, in and out of consciousness. And then we go back to school, I have a French test. But I'm so proud. I just That's in Spanish? Bro. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just looking at the sheet like, what the hell? No, nah, but I was so fried. I went to the bathroom. And you know how school bathrooms are just weird. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So there was this juice box floating in the toilet. <laughs> what the fuck? And I was so fried. I was just no. over staring at it. I was not nah, even drinking. Oh, I was going to say. I, 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 I thought it was going to go that direction. Did you get to pick it up? Bro, like I was just staring at the juice box for so long. I'm like, I have to surrender. I can't go to class. I was like, I had given up so far. At this point, I just texted my mom. I'm like, I'm high as hell. I have to come home. <laughs> wow. wow. It was bad, but I, could I never learned my that. lesson. <laughs> I could never nah. take that. I can't drink anything that's meant for someone else because of that experience. Like, mm. if it's for diabetes, if it's for something in specific, I don't mm. even test the waters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bad PTSD. It's a bad experience. A little bit. I can't smoke weed anymore. I feel like that's partially Damn. It. You got traumatized. Going into the yeah. It was bad. <laughs> I felt very vulnerable looking at that juice box yeah, in the toilet, really man. Really I felt like if anyone came in here with the slightest amount of force, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Holy smokes. Is there any is there any other food that gave you guys like anxiety yeah. or trauma? Ketchup. Chocolate mousse. Ke- Yo, low-key ketchup, bro. Why ketchup? Low-key ketchup. Low-key ketchup. Man, if I look at if I see yeah. someone squirt ketchup, like I'm Sick. done. Like I eat it. Because it's messy? <laughs> I just I can't. I don't even want to talk about it. Like <laughs> ketchup, man. It's nah, nasty. yo, like, like that and pickles. Yo, I mess with pickles, bro. I, with pickles. I can't stand Bags. people eat pickles, bro. Bro, especially you, especially Carlos. Why? What's on my word? I I have it on the sandwiches, fam, or like Wait, the burgers. Nah, I nah. Do I don't. I don't do pickle. Nah, you could tell words. the McDonald's worker no pickles and they'll still put pickles. You can eat pickles, so? Yeah, I would. Like one time I bought a jar of pickles, but they were wrong. Okay. I, like, I threw it all. Out. You why do you, okay? Why do you like it? Is it like the the flavor like, like to sour. fill you? It, it, no, it's just it just like, really like the crisp. It's just. Ew. Pickles, right? Yeah. We're talking about you know pickles? what's yeah. ironic about this moment? There's a whole meme about podcasters versus artists, like artists working so hard for their work, and then the podcasters are talking about pickles. <laughs> <laughs> this, is so true. this is like what life imitates art moment. I have to find that picture for you. To <laughs> you know, you know what shit though? Um, all ranch. Uh, ruffles. I actually don't so like. It. I don't mess with those. Wait, I'll, dress, I'll, I'll dress. I'll dress. I'll dress. Really? No. I don't mess with all yeah, dress. Like no, 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 dress. No, 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 no. It tastes like dope. It tastes like dope. No, 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 no. My girl put me on the sickest thing. It's like you get uh Morsan cheese, and you put it on. What is Morsan cheese? You put it on all dress chips. Uh, all dress ruffles. Yeah. Gas. Damn. No. I'll try it. Maybe I'll try it. It's so good. Yo, right? Yo, 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 I got a dip. Carlos, just open the bag. Oh, yo, yo, yo yes, I did. Yes, I got a head. Oh, you got a dip? Thank right. you, everyone. All right, thanks, oh, Jeff, for coming through. Yo, w, 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 Jeff, w, Jeff, w, Jeff, w, Jeff, 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 these guys finally get some mic now. A lie, a lie. Right, what's the next topic, my brother? Oh, let, let me talk about one thing I'm traumatized for. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's gonna go on for another ten minutes. Fact, fact. <laughs> then someone else gonna share. No, it's quick. It's quick. It's quick. It's quick. Doritos. What? what? Yeah. I really like Doritos. Plain, plain. Doritos. Like the regular Doritos, the red one. I'm actually traumatized with. No, 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 I see that, I see that, I see that. Wait, I no, why? You know nah, what facts. mine is, but a lot of people have the same one, yeah. Sun Chips. Sun Chips? No, I love Sun Chips, though. No, I love Sun Chips. No, I used to love them in green. Did you like Sun Chips? No, I did. Chips are good. I did, but I've always gotten sick <laughs> after eating them. Always oh sick? Yeah, like I always get <laughs> sick. Like I'm like, these are so good. And then after I'm like, oh no. That's me with smart oh. food. No. What? Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> Lay's, Lay's. Popcorn, smart food, popcorn? Oh, Lay's original? So I feed it to my dog. Okay, okay. Lay's ketchup. Ew! I have bro. trauma. Oh, oh, obviously. Ew. I remember JK. We go. We went on a Don't swimming. Say everyone. Swimming <laughs> Don't trip. speak for me. Yeah. Ryan Truly, this guy gave me uh, ketchup lace. <laughs> Swim. Oh, Wait, hold on. In, in in the clear plastic bag, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Those are the worst <laughs> chips ever. Bro, fam, I eat them. I get home after the swimming. Throw up everything, bro. Ew. In the washroom, bro. Ever Ew. since then, I've never touched Lay's ketchup. You're trash. You're trash. If you're your trash. friend has, has chips in the clear sandwich bags, they're dirty. don't eat them, bro. Yeah, they're and they're soggy. They're dirty. Ew. Ew. Yo, oh. I, yo, I swear you used to do, used do that, bro. I swear you used to do yeah. that. Then there's a guy. Yo, you used to do that, bro. No, there's a guy. You know how you go to cottages? Yeah. And there's like different cottages, right? Like lined up. There was a there was a white kid, right? I think I told the story, but we go frog hunting. And he used to help us. So he used to catch a frog with his hand, put it in the bin, 
Ew. And you saw the chips? You guys want some? Gross. <laughs> no, 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 no. The, the chips, the chips. Then he used to like grab chips with the, the That's same dirt. Hand. That's yeah, dirt. That's dirt. It's people like that that started what COVID. What makes a frog dirty though? It's what, slime. It's, slime. it's, it's slime. like I think it's frogs have warts. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you would Toads you touch have a cat warts. and then eat or no? Toad frogs too, no? No, but they're different. A like a like a nah, aquatic frog is different than a toad. Toads don't go in water. Would you guys eat a frog? Huh? Would you eat frogs? I had it before. Yeah, it is. It's fire. It's actually good. Would you guys eat frogs? Like nice. Yeah, they're good. I would never eat frogs. You would never eat a frog? No, I used to catch them when I was a kid. Yeah. Yo, I wouldn't mind eating one. I never tried it though. I would try. I used to put worms in my pockets. Oh wow! I used to pick up worms like nothing. I used to eat a worm. My sister ate a slug. Oh, a yellow banana slug? Like a banana, like a yellow one? Uh, I don't, yeah, I think so, because it didn't have a shell. Or wait, wait, so oh, like, did, did oh. she eat it raw? Like, she was did she a baby, eat it raw? and my parents, like, saw her playing with it, and they were like, what are you doing? And they, like, looked away for a second, That's and they just saw, like, the... She ate it raw? Yeah. No, no, like, she was just Damn. a kid. Yeah, yeah, oh, she just put it in her mouth. No. I feel like it's edible. I know someone, uh, what's it called? One of my friends was telling me that she's a, she's a nurse right now, and she heard a story of some guy who ate a slug or a girl, I don't remember anymore, mm -hmm. and it put them in a coma. Holy what? shit. Like, I don't know what- Like it grew in their stomach? I don't know what the situation was, but whatever it was, she ate it, and then a little while later, she got sick and got put in a coma because oh. of it. Yo, it was probably like a parasite or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Something like that, but it was just- no, it was no. yo, yo, What the fuck? Yo, 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 I, I, remember, I remember this one story. I remember um, in my backyard, I used to have like a whole bunch of slugs. Yeah. <laughs> because, because like my, my grandma, like, she used to like plant like these green onions over there. Yeah, yeah. So I used to track all these slugs. And I remember Carlos came over one day <laughs> and he, he knows I'm terrified of slugs. Like he knows I don't mess with slugs, worms, anything like that. This guy teases just throwing it at me, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's out of context. That's out of context. We were playing a game. We were playing a game. We were what were we playing again? It was like, it wasn't truth or dare. It was, um. I swear it was. It was like dare or dare. It was dare or dare. It was dare or dare. dare, dare. Okay, okay. And somebody dared me to, to pick up a slug. No, no one dared him, bro. Never. Somebody dared me. Somebody dared me. Me personally? So I, so I picked it up and, I, and it's like hold it for 30 seconds. So I was holding it. Holding it. I'm like, what should I do with this? And I wanted to like throw it at someone. <laughs> Why'd you pick the black guy? <laughs> no, no, no. Two of my friends. Two, it was Josh oh, and, and my other friend. And then I was going to like throw it at them. Wait, wait, I actually have a question. Yeah. What's like the weird, like, what is a dare that you've actually done? Like, someone dared and then you actually did it. Mm. I, I don't even want to speak on this. <laughs> oh, Josh done some crazy shit, bro. I, I, I don't want <laughs> Josh has done some crazy <laughs> shit. Ew. I'm not gonna lie. Josh, yeah. I don't know if I want to do this. No, no, no. I, there's there's video shit, proof, though. There's, there's video, video proof. But, but I think it was at a point in high school where, like, we're scavenging for loonies and toonies at this point. Oh, you know what? I mean? Yo, we used to split cookies. <laughs> yeah. We used to split the calf cookies. Men were like, yo, you got a dollar, let's split a calf. Like, literally, you know grade nine was rough. Oh, yeah. Yo, you have two bones for the bus? <laughs> yo. <laughs> no, I'm saving this for my cookie. No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Great. I think, I think grade nine might have been like the brokest I ever was, ever. Yeah. Not even like younger than that. I was Country. definitely broke when, when I was when we used grade to nine. go out for bubble tea, I used to count my coins. Like, do I have enough to go out? That's like my that? sister. My sister doesn't have a change. Oh. You guys are getting bubble tea at high school? Yes. Bro. You're rich. Though. That's what I'm saying. You're rich, bro. Skip all the time? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh they're cool. We, we used to skip all the time. We used to skip all the time. Damn. I did not skip. <laughs> Now, once I learned the automated hack, I started skipping stuff. Sorry? When you call the school and it's automated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, my attendance record? <laughs> yo, I found that out. Yo, that hack, the hack's unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, I was not going to class. One time, one time, elementary. I remember I got in trouble. I, my mom's not coming. I got in trouble, right? Yeah. You know how they call? Like, it's a serious thing. Uh -huh. yeah, right? I don't even know what it was for. My mom's at work or something. I get home. I block the school's number. They can't even call. Oh, I that's that fucking too. smart. <laughs> that's smart as shit. Yeah. My dad didn't care. He'd just be uh -huh. like, uh -huh. But then you'll have another emergency contact, and then they'll contact that person. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, but they didn't really go that far, though. Like, like, even though I'm off, I'm off camera, but you know how that was actually so dumb because, like, taking... Give him a mic. Like, I'm saying, like, even though, like, we would do stuff like that, like, block the school's number just so we don't get in trouble. Take it, imagine something serious happened and you, you had it blocked. Yeah. And they could yeah, call yeah. your family. Yo, family you want to sit over there? there? Sure, I'll pull up. Yeah, you're coming, coming. Nah, yo, yo, I remember like in school, I, I used to get all my, I used to get my brother to like sign like my, like my slips, like whenever I got in trouble. 
They always oh, do like my brother's ass. Really oh, I used to always do that. My dad's uh, yo, I did that too when I got no, caught. You got caught? Yeah, yo, yo, I, I forged my car muscle. insurance. No, 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 like his car insurance had his like had his signature. Oh, so yeah. I go up to the window. I can only do it in the day. I, I trace it like, like <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That's actually Bro, crazy. At night, I was fucked. Wow. Have y'all ever been like suspended before? Oh, yeah. Ever been suspended? Yeah. yeah. I get in a lot of fights like when I was at elementary. School. Yeah, Whoa. me. Wow. And, I remember me and E Man got uh, in school suspension where we had to like stay during the lunch and like clean up the calf. Oh yeah, why? Because we we, we were just a, what's it called it was it was gym class and we were screwing around and um, we started like play fighting in the classroom mm-hmm. and like we were pushing desks and shit. Like it kind of like got serious but not really serious. It was just one of those ones where it got heated. And then Mr. McCann. Uh, who was our teacher at the time, walks right in. <laughs> he walks in, he's like, go to office. And then it turned into this thing where they like thought we were serious and then like all this shit happened. We had like three days where we had to like actually like clean up the cafe. I'm like, what the I fuck? I threw a rock at a dog. What? What? What'd you say? What'd you like, say? He was across the fence. So I, like, I was throwing it at the window and then the dog started barking. So I just, I didn't whip it at it. Like, I just, <laughs> for Mary? Yeah. Like, uh, I I just, no, not Mary's when I was younger, like in grade three, like I just. You were throwing rocks at dogs? Not, rocks not at the dogs? dog, not the dog, like at the house and the dog. Are you scared of dogs? <laughs> <laughs> I have a dog. I have a dog. I have a dog. Are you scared yeah, of dogs or not? Nah, I have a pit bull, man. Oh yeah, you have a pit bull. I forgot. I'm scared, but, but yeah, yeah, I was just, I was just a menace. Like, yeah. My mom got the phone menace. call. Like, all I saw was a broom, and I just don't know. Just, like, <laughs> <laughs> my mom, my mom got. The yo, phone would you call. fight somebody with a dog? No, no, no. I, I think that's the ultimate. Like, yo, you can't fight me no more. I have a dog with yeah, me. Yeah, low key. Yeah. Fight someone with a dog. Tell, tell me, you'd fight me with my dog. Like if you saw Dude, my his dog, dog is like a horse. It's as tall as you. <laughs> saw, if you saw my Can dog ask. walking beside me and you tried getting into a fight, Wait, there's no shot. Yo, have it's a great day. I'm good, bro. Oh, fuck. That's a great day. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Isn't your dog taller than me too? Like, I don't know. It's probably like taller than you were too much. If she stood up, I think probably. So uh has it has it has it bit anyone? Has it like has it like ran after anyone? It doesn't, she doesn't like small dogs. So oh. whenever she sees a small dog, she tries to like lunge at them. Oh yeah. Oh so shit. Like, keep them, yeah, keep her like, away from Diego. <laughs> I don't think she will ever meet your dog. He's <laughs> <laughs> not nice enough. That cartel member. No. <laughs> Yo, but, but the thing about my dog, even though he's so small, this guy's mad brave. Like I, I big up him. Cause like he's, he's, he can literally be destroyed in one bite, like by another dog, but he'll be in like, the big ends of the the dog park, and oh, I feel like that's every small ends. dog though. They, they like, have balls, fam. They have balls for some reason. Tack vest on him, he'll be good. Sorry, just put the tack vest on. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> put the tack vest on. <laughs> oh, you want me to get a topic? Yeah. All right, cool. We were about to transition, and then we kept going. I know, I know. All right, hold on. I'm gonna pick a topic. Pick a funny. You guys want to get supernatural, or you guys want to get like more funny, uh, funny, funny type question. Okay. Because I feel like we spent the the last thirty minutes like on hella deep, deep shit. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, does it. anyone have theories they want to say? Nope. I have one theory, but I'll save it for later. Yo, the first time you invited me, bro, I searched up like top five theories in the world. <laughs> 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 Not too. <laughs> five <laughs> minutes before you, but I'm like, this yo. is the first time I didn't come like prepared. <laughs> I was like, yo, it feels this easy. All right, this one's from High Men Help Me. So he says, how do these days, men find girls as their only source of happiness. Hmm? Do you think that's true? Like so do you think, you think girls for some guys are their only source of happiness? Like they put all their happiness in, into a girl? Yes. <laughs> Woman ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> who, who didn't even say a speech on this, man? No, no, no. One of those, like, you know how everybody has a vice? Like, yeah. you know, some people just don't know themselves enough. So they find happiness in like and somebody vices, else, right? So it's like some people, it's their vices, alcohol. Some people, it's drugs, whatever. For some people, it happens to be women. And like, <laughs> bro, for the longest time, I was like that too. Where it's like, bro, I couldn't go to, I couldn't go anywhere if there was gonna be no girls. Really, dead ass. Like if 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 I told you. If you told me you'll come out, I was always gonna ask you, bro, is it gonna be girls there? If, yeah. if you said no, I wasn't coming. That's wow. such a cool thing, bro. That does. I remember, I remember RJ was like, yo, not everything's about girls, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <A lie. laughs> do, do you think do you think that's the same for girls too? Like, do you think um some girls only see a guy as their only source of happiness? I think it's definitely possible, right? Yeah, yeah I'm sure there are. Yeah. I've but I feel like that. girls are good at faking like they don't need. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they know what to tell people to make it not seem like that. So they're they're good at deceiving it. 
They yeah. get at like not showing their true feelings. Yeah. Do you think that's why relationships get so complicated? Is because girls don't tell their true feelings. But it's not just the girls though. Guys don't do that either. Mm-hmm. I feel like guys Ryan, are kind of straight up, no? Mike to Ryan. I don't know. <laughs> Good up Mike to Ryan right so. now. <laughs> We're gonna get some gold. No, listen, listen, listen. Cause cause more times, more times if a guy is interested in a girl, you know right away he's interested. I think that's not true. Nah. I think, I think no, I think some guys don't. <laughs> nah. I think guys make it obvious. Like it's guys make obvious it obvious. When, like, when, they, like, when they like a girl. Who chases me? Yeah. Guys make it obvious, but are oblivious. You get me? No, no, because look, look. Because if you think about it this way, who who initiates the first date? Usually, guy. the guy. Who tells her, oh, let's meet up this time, this time, this time? The guy. You know what I mean? Who's like opening the door? It's usually the guy that's doing the activity of showing interest. Or at least initiating more um, linking or whatever. Be. And like pursuing. Yeah, pursuing. It's the guy that's usually pursuing, yes or no? Yeah. So, guys are more straightforward. I don't know. Because there's no way you can be like, um, do you, do you think you want to go out to this tomorrow? You know what I mean? Yeah. Guys, don't, guys don't do that shit. Nah, Girls will do that, though. I would do that. Personally, I would do that. Exactly. Personally, exactly. I would do that. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't even really say, like, I want to go somewhere. Unless they ask. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I do want to go there. Okay, do you think, uh, I, have a, I have a good question. Do you think a boss guy uh-huh. can be with a boss girl or it has to be like one person wears the pants? No, nah, one person has to wear the pants. Still. One person? You know, yeah, if you have two boss bosses, or... like they're going to be clashing. It's a lot yeah. of clashing. They're going to be clashing, bro. I always said that you can have two bosses. It's like, because it's cool. It's like, oh, one time you can call the shots and you can rely on your partner. I think it's possible, yeah. yeah. I think it's possible. If you could choose it's just you have to be on it. Like, well, lots exactly. of communication. It could be. Yeah. Like, as long as, like, there's not one person that, like, always wants to be on the top. As True. long as, like, you're not stubborn, then you can work it out. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. I would... Yeah, yeah, because exactly. stubborn's a different thing, though. Stubborn's, like, nobody listens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's like, that would be cool if my girl can call the shots, too. You, you don't want to be calling the shots all the time. Yeah, I feel like Facts, brother maybe Gavin. for a guy it would be nice if the girl had an, a plan or an idea. Facts. Yeah. No, that's, that's it's like 50 50. But I have a question. Time. I have a question for you. Do you think it's a turn off if guys don't have a plan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you think that is, though? Why do you think that is? Because it's like, what do you mean by no plan? Like in life or like. No, like a plan to even. <laughs> for anything. Oh for no, anything. That's facts. <laughs> <laughs> for, that's facts. For anything, like whether they're going out or like they don't even know where to eat and shit, you know? If they're very indecisive, it's like, then what do you really want? You know, it's like, like, what are you thinking? Like, what mm-hmm. do you want from me? So you or think, like, out of this, whatever the fuck. You guys so you think it's more attractive when a guy knows exactly, like, okay, we're gonna do this and this. So we, yeah. girls generally, do you think girls like to be told what to do? That's a hot take. That's a crazy. That's, that's a hot take. Turn the camera to Ryan, brother. Turn the camera to Ryan. That's a hot take. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just asking the question. Yeah. What I will say is a lot of times <laughs> girls say stuff, but they don't mean it. Like, for real. Because like, right now you both disagreed when you're like, girls don't like to be told how to do stuff. Mm. But mm. I guarantee if there's a guy, uh, there's two guys. Wait, I didn't disagree. I didn't say anything. Oh, she did. She did. Oh. You, you got caught. You got oh. caught. Oh. bro. Oh, one minute. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> but, no, Sasha, like, Sasha shook her head as soon as you said that, right? So my thing is, you're gonna imagine a situation where you have two guys. There's one guy who puts you in your place every single time. He'll tell you we're doing this, this and that. And then you have Mr. Whoever who's asking you every single time. More often than not, you might say on paper, you want the guy to consult you and making decisions. But really and truly, every single time he, you're gonna he, choose. He didn't say, he didn't say ask. Through. He said like tell you what to do. That's different. yeah. But more often than not, the guys who are telling these girls what to do are the ones who are perceived as the most attractive kind of vibe that's... thing, alpha male, whatever you want to call it. I don't think the Damn. alpha male is attractive. Though. Ryan's theory of gender. Uh, Damn. I, <laughs> I feel like, I think, oh, do this, do this. Yeah. No, no, no. That's not what yeah, it no, is. Because, no, no, like that. because that's an extreme. Yeah. yeah, that's an extreme. That that's that's a can that's you a characteristic you can see. some more like what you. Because look, look, more time. Okay, generally, I have to say generally because I don't want no smoke. Generally, the guy is the one that calls the shots in a relationship, right? So a girl isn't going to find a guy that doesn't know what he wants or is very indecisive, attractive, in my opinion. Because would you go out with somebody that's like, I don't even know what I want to wear today. I don't even know what I want to, you know what I mean? You'd be like, what the fuck? I don't even know either. So now we have two people that are lost. That's fun, though. 
<laughs> that's what, nah, that's bro. Okay. That shit would cheese me. They can't, can't even take care of themselves. That shit like, would piss me off. Like they can take care of you too. Yeah, exactly. But I don't think clothing every, wise. I don't think every person <laughs> is looking for someone to take. Yeah, I'm not. I can't, I'm saying generally though. I'm not saying everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if it's what do you call it? A girl boss. Girl boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially if it's one of those. I don't think they care. Like they're kind of just like. You I don't know, know what? Um, I'm glad that you said especially like a girl boss. So I work with this lady. She's in her 40s or whatever she's a girl boss like bro she has hella bread so much uh, life experience like she's really good in business da, 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 da. and she married this guy who's also like a boss type figure guy so she was saying to me she's like yeah on my own i can do whatever i'm i i'm i'm, I'm a boss my husband trusts me enough to make choices on my own but being his wife i want to feel like i'm being taken care of even though i know i can do everything she still looks at him to make decisions, even though she's just as capable, because she still wants to be able to feel like somebody can provide for her, mm. even so she, though she's a girl boss, essentially. So she likes the independence, but she also likes like that she could feel she could rely on somebody. She likes, she'd rather feel like she can rely on somebody than More be than, independent, I even think though she can be. it's a very opinionated question. I think it's very personal. Yeah, but I think je- we can speak on a general level, because majority of people, like, for example, a girl... Would love to be babied by a guy. You know what I mean, she loves. She, she loves. No girls love to be babied. You know what I mean, like. But behind the scenes, guys like to be. Yeah, babied I love too. to be babied. No, but wow. but, but <laughs> look, look, but hear me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. The cameras don't show, brother. No, no, I agree, Gavin. I agree. I very, I very much agree with that point. Like guys want to feel like that too. Imagine a guy said that to you. Can you? Can you take care of me? Can you? Are you gonna be attracted to that? Are you attracted to that? Yes or no? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, but it's also per- a personal answer. Like, I, I don't. I think. I think majority of girls, like, yeah. though. I feel like a majority of girls would not want to take that on. What happened over there? Bobby? No, no. Speak. Speak it. Speak it. Yo, yo. When uh, what performances was it? Uh, rolling Loud, and you wanted to go see it, but your girl said we're watching Wizkid. <laughs> No, no, listen, we're, no but, but that's the thing. No, no, no listen, listen. Inside, inside. <laughs> you were there with me. You were with your girl, fam. Yeah, because I wanted to see whiskey. Wait, 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 what's going on here? What's going on here? No, no, because okay, oh, they're, they're just saying, oh, um, what do you call this? Well, like, uh, when we went to whiskey, I'm yeah. going loud. Yeah. Obviously, uh, I wanted to go somewhere else, but my girl wanted to go there. Yeah. Obviously, I'm gonna go there with my girl to enjoy the last night. You feel me? I don't think that's bad. That's no, called so being a way, smart man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear it, I hear it. But yeah, the way it started true. was, um, he was talking about he wants to be baby, but I, I still like wear, carry the pants. And I was like, bro, your girl raised you up. <laughs> <laughs> you have to save this, Gavin. <laughs> I got to save him. Are you going to flame him? Nobody, <laughs> nobody finds a guy that wants to be baby attractive. You know mm, kind of. Like, you'll get a rare, but like, fam, that's Mewtwo right there. Like, where are you going to find that shit? I think, I think some girls are like that, though. So, yeah, that's shiny like Mewtwo. That. Dead ass. No, behind the scene, lots of girls are like that, though. I don't think so. I don't think so. I feel like if the girl knows that she, like, he will also take care of Yeah, yeah, I agree, yeah. <laughs> then she doesn't mind. Yo, she has a good point. She has a good point. Say it one more time. I said, what did I say? Oh, I think that if the girl has, like, reassurance that the man will do the same thing back. Mm, like yeah. if, she, if he's like, oh, I want to be babied or taken care of, I think it's fine as long as she knows like he will return. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think that's, that's, that's exactly it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. As a man, you can't always have a hard shell. Facts. You must yeah, open yeah. up <laughs> one day. It's like a squirtle. You're not gonna How are you going to build your relationship if you don't open about the trauma and she can't take care of you? No, no, I'm not saying that. I, I never said anything about that. I, I, this is persona in society. In general, in general. Okay, okay. Well, what Carlos is trying to get off though is like first impressions attract. Yeah, exactly. Not that's the long run. Oh, that, that, oh you're talking about that first impressions. That, 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 that first impressions. Comes in oh yeah, and I have to put on that. <laughs> straightforward, straightforward. If, if you see that shit, you're probably not gonna. You're not probably gonna like it, right? But then why are Korean soft boys like always almost cuffed? That's because of the society. Exactly. Yeah. That's no, crazy. I had my theory about that. I had my okay. T- tell me if I'm wrong. I want to get a girl's opinion on this. Do you think do you guys find like Korean soft boys attractive? A lot of girls do. Korean yeah. soft boys. Like, like you know, like K-pop, K-pop stars. Like, like, yes, and all them. You find them attractive, right? Like no. no. But that's just them. No, that's them. That's them. That's them. That's them. <laughs> girls are different. I don't, but but. I don't even know who you're talking. But like, like soft, like, 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 like soft boys. It's not like someone so specific. Much. It's like you know, the like Korean K-pop and people and stuff. K-pop. Like I could think they're good looking, but I'm not like attracted to them. Exactly. That's my point. That's my point. Why so so listen, listen. My theory. My theory. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why though? Yeah, exactly. Why though? So so, 
<laughs> a lot of girls find them attractive, right? A lot of girls find them attractive, but they don't. When when have you seen like their personality side? Like unless they're super fans, super fans, and sometimes their personality doesn't really match like the personality they project online. Yeah, facts. Like you can see one personality that's that's like this soft boy, this fanboy, whatever, but maybe in person they're actually like really fucking cold blooded or some shit. You know, yeah. like we don't see that. Like for example, Drake, like a Drake mentality. He's very soft. Right with uh singing and shit, but he he switched up. He switched, like he he has different sides to him. But I mean that one side of it that's like super R and B singing. Like if a regular guy takes on that persona and like very um oh don't break my heart, don't break my heart, a girl's gonna see that as as weakness, man. Yo, you know who gets a lot of hate like that? Russell Wilson. Really? Yeah. yeah. I feel like yeah. in in this whole social media thing, he's perceived as soft because yeah. It's because mm-hmm. Will Smith, bro. Oh, Will Smith. Yeah, Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> No, but Will Smith is such a goat, though. Like, he's already solidified it. <laughs> Not after that angle. Not after that. Keep my wife's name. <laughs> Keep my wife's name. Yes, you do sound. <laughs> Sorry? Like, we're just not going on our phones at all. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's kind of nice. Oh, that's a theory I want to talk about, actually. So, recently, I know you guys haven't watched it, but there's, there's this show called Cyberpunk. Josh watched it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire anime. Fire anime. But anyways, there's this concept in the show I really want to see your guys' opinion on. So in the show, in the future, because this is set in like fucking 2070, whatever it may be. Now, in the future, they're able to make their body like mechanics. So they're kind of like cyborg. So they can always upgrade themselves, almost like an iPhone. So we get a new iPhone, you can get like a new head, you can get a new arm, you can get like a new respiratory system, whatever, right? Now, in the show though, if you keep doing all of these upgrades to your body and keep adding more cybertronics to your body, you actually lose your mind and go insane. Now, a lot of people don't know about this, but in the anime, I was watching it at a deep level of where, yo, they're losing their mind just like how we lose our minds because we're so addicted to our phones. Like, if you think about it, do you think we're gonna, we're addicted to our phones right now, yes or no? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody can completely say we're addicted to our phones, yeah. right? right. Mm-hmm. Now, maybe we don't see it as much, but the apps are upgrading and, and fucking up our head even more because it's less attention span, TikTok, whatever it may be. More and more and more, it stimulates our brain, right? Now, do you think like if a phone changes to something in your head or phone changes to something you can implant into your body, it's going to fuck us up even more? And do you think we're already headed there? I don't get it. Damn. What do you think? Well, like phone, we, I, I, we I mean, like, it, it's... For the cyberpunk's, like, opinion on it, it's basically just showing that if you change too much, you lose your humanity. That's the best way to put it. That, that's what they're trying to depict in that. Um, it's, it is similar in a sense where, like, our phones, our computers, our electronics, like, even with VR and stuff, like, the, with the way they're going, it's like the more we dive into this reality of, like the less contact, more social aspects through electronic devices, at what point do we no longer need that physical interaction Yeah, is kind of yeah. like what it's getting to because there's all, so many people, you, even online and stuff, they hear about like meeting online, like go online dating, all this yeah. other stuff where it's like you don't even need that first physical attraction. So what's stopping us from eventually going to the point where we're no longer going to have that? Yeah, that's true. In a sense, it's like leading down the similar route. I don't think it's going to be as fast where like obviously in, in the anime, you basically lose your mind because you lose your humanity. Yeah, yeah. That's what like happens. The metaverse. I, yo, yo, honestly, I think, I think it's moving way too fast, man. Like the way technology is advancing versus how us as humans are advancing, like it's way too quick. Yeah, like our brains can't keep up with it, right? It can't keep up. Yeah, we can. It's, it's you think, you think we can? Why? Why do you think we can? You download an app, you already know how to work it. You feel me? It's like you were. <laughs> what? No, like I'm not even like talking about like. Give me a phone. I already, I would already know how to work. And what happens if the app breaks or the programming breaks? Do you know how to fix it? You're hella relying on that. Oh, the no. You're you're relying on all the technology being solved for you and just using the end product of it. If something were to break along that technology, you will lose your mind. You no longer know how to operate it. We're relying on everything working 100 percent the way. Like bro, like imagine if all the internet like went down for like one day. Yeah, when Rogers went. Crazy, down. People bro. lost their mind. Everybody would go like, crazy. Yeah. Low key, this is like part of my brain because I can I can pick up any fact in the world and be s- as smart as my phone because I have it on me. But the moment I don't have this shit, you ask me like, "Yo, what's the surface of the sun? Like the fucking the radius or whatever." I won't know that shit. I'm not a human almanac. 
you know? But with this, I am. So do you think, may, maybe I'm talking shit, tell me, do you think this is a gateway, quote unquote, a gateway drug to more Cybertronic? <laughs> or, 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 or am I just talking <laughs> shit? <laughs> what? Nah. What do you guys no, say? Nothing. Sorry, what? Sorry. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you know, I'm just that shit's a drug. Yeah, yeah I think I think it's, it's, it's like Sasha said. I feel like there's not a lot of moments where we just sit down without our phones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it feels really good. Yeah, I know, and it's like um, especially in uni now, I feel like it's so hard to make friends, bro. Like everyone's either on their phones. That's because you're weird. What? All my friends are on WhatsApp. No, no, it's true. It's true. <laughs> no, I agree. <laughs> no, it's like, true. It's like social 100%. climate change. Yeah, like, even if in school or something you're not you're not focused on like or what's around you because your phone's your comfort exactly. Exactly. so you go and you just text your friends that shit no the phone you. the phone made us um introverts too because it's like during corona that's all we had right and then as soon as you went out tell me you could hold a conversation for more than an hour with a person yeah, they, yeah they, 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 you know what's crazy about that school thing is even now when you're in school or something i guarantee you you try and find that person's instagram or something oh, before you actually true. talk to them you try and that's find true. Fuck, that's so that information like through your something. phone before them so you have something to talk about or something to holy shit with. i just yeah, bagged that so look look imagine imagine we're in the fucking the 70s 60s 50s like we had to, to court somebody and like get to know them and shit. Like you'd actually have to go and spend time with I them. I feel like that's way better. Mm. Like you think it's more human because it yeah. is. Yeah. And even like when you go through like sorry for anyone who has, but like when you go through a breakup, mm -hmm. it's like there's no like it, back in the day like when you break up that it's over. Yeah. yeah. Like you don't know what they're doing. Like it's it's fine. But now it's like you can go on social media and you see and everything like, happening. Yeah, you can see. You see you, you see you're with another guy and shit. Yeah. That's so true. They could go so deep cuz you're trying to interpret so much like they could like a song or something or mm -hmm. post a song and you're like what does that mean? Is that to do with me? Like what what did I do? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like the same way like social media ruined genuine relationships. Facts. Because I think about it as people, like before the internet and all that kind of stuff, in your life, maybe you might only know max a thousand people. It's the people. Yeah, in your, yo, in that's your so town. true, bro. Yeah, that's true. You only know the the people the that girls you see. in your town. You only know the people holy in your fuck. Town. So that's so I never, I never really took it in like that. Just think about how much easier it is to focus. Say you're looking, you're a young man looking for some girls, or you're mm -hmm. a woman, you're looking for a partner or whatever. Um, you only know 100 people. Yeah. There's only 10 of them yeah, you sure. find attractive. It's a lot easier to narrow down that, that 10 and pick the one you find the most attractive oh. to go after. But, but do you think do you think it's, a, it's better now? Because now you have online dating, you can literally just go with this. No, it's way worse now because oh, you have what? so many choices. That's yeah. better. No, 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 no. But think about it like this. You have too many choices yeah, to pick from. Like you, had, yeah. you got way too many choices to pick from. So it's the same way like you just did the whole swipe yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah. Those are taken. Those are all people. But because you're looking them at a screen and you're just swiping yes, no, yes, no, it's like they become like points. Like you don't yeah. even give a like shit. But what, but what if like back in the day you, you have those ten? Eventually, you realize that was never the per your person. Like, no, that's 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 fine. But you would never know because that's all you know, right? But because there's so much out there, so much choice, your options seem a lot bigger than they than they really are. So you're you're less likely to compromise on stuff. Yeah. Um. Any any little mistakes or any little flaws. You're you're out because you're like I can just find the next that's person, true, yeah. And then you skip over people that are genuinely good matches for you, or people that are good friends for you because you feel like, oh, I'm one swipe away or one fall away from, from the finding a nice person. Right? Yeah. So oh, no, true. you're never you're always chasing perfect, but you'll never get it because perfect doesn't yeah. exist. And right? especially like on those apps, like people Jeez. are only showing their best sides. Yeah, yeah. Like, like they're not gonna show like their bad sides. They're not gonna like it's not as you have to open the book. Ah, and shit. That's what I'm saying. Ah, like, you have to open the book. And and to add to that, Ryan, it's like. This is how we know we're fucked, bro. Look, every single person, we all use Netflix a lot. Yeah. How many times have you went on Netflix and just been scrolling and shit and haven't found something to watch? Because there's so much option, bro. Now, let's even take it to, maybe the guys will re relate to me more, but imagine you're scrolling on, like, let's say, Pornhub town. Mm. <laughs> no, that has, back in the day, bro. back in the day, when we didn't have, when we didn't have options boss, and shit. I, I don't know why. Uh, the magazines? Boss. <laughs> well, yeah, yo, yo, bust enough to, to whatever, to whatever, fam. Imagination. Yeah, no, to we're, imagination. We're actually mad desensitized. But now, yeah, we're so desensitized and we have so much to our, to, 
to access that we're scrolling and scrolling like ah oh, this one ain't it this one and then we're like we're like do I miss out do you have like a sense of FOMO do I miss out if I don't click this one do I miss out if I don't click this one exactly yes you know what I mean no, that's true, that's true. <laughs> It's like, um, it's like, it's it's like your, your phone tabs, like, um, on your internet browser, just, you always click new, new pop-ups and stuff and you never go back to it because something new just popped up or those, those videos that you see on TikTok, you're like, oh, I'm going to watch this later. You save it. And then you never, never go watch. back because so. some new shit just popped up. Yeah. So you have so much choice. It makes it a lot harder to make a choice because you have too many options. Never thought of it. Oh, I like, I like, um, I like the technology now because it's like so fast paced. It's like everything's at you at once. You don't have to do a lot. Gavin's an iPad kid. You feel me? <laughs> she said you're an iPad <laughs> kid. This guy's, I'm a, this guy's real iPad kid, bro. <laughs> I'm not even an iPad Man, kid. When though. I'm eating, I have to watch something. Yeah, yeah oh, no, facts. No, that's sure. facts. A mukbang. Really? You have to? I have to watch a mukbang. That's like me too. That's like me too. I have to watch something, bro. Catch and cook? Oh my god. Catch and cook. You watch catch and cook videos? Like the fishing ones? That's crazy. Yo, I rate that roll with like a random like tie girl. Yeah, catch and cook. Yo, take in. I'm like the exact opposite of iPad kid. I, 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 I eat dinner in silence. Oh, that's yeah. silence? Like, literally, I sit oh, weird, in silence. I try, I try to do no, no, no. it. <laughs> Back this. Psychopath. I talk all day for a living. Eight hours a day, every day, right? Yes. When I get home, I just want to, I don't want to hear anything. So yeah. I'm sitting in silence. Like from when I get home at seven o'clock till I go to bed, I'm in silence. I, 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 am I crazy? Am I crazy to say complete silence is loud? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys think that? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, imagine you, someone cracked the joke, no one laughed. No, no, not that, not that. <laughs> Mentally? No, like, sometimes when I'm in my room by myself or, like, before I go to sleep, uh -huh. I listen to silence, and silence is fucking, like, like I could hear... That static, that static, that static sound. And, and like, yo, especially, like, all the thoughts in your head that you're thinking yeah, about, Yeah, that shit is... Like, I feel like that's the loudest part, bro. That shit is you know loud. Sounds like, you know when part. you press HDMI and there's nothing connected, it's that gray, like, oh, little dark. Yeah, that's what yeah, it yeah, sounds yeah, the like, static. The static. The static, bro. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's like that. Um, it's not. Is it white noise? Yeah, it's white. Like I guess it's called white noise. Yo, you know what? You know at uh, Dino's cottage, Eric was like, "Yo, Gavin, I'm going to sleep now." He puts on his AirPod. I'm like, "Yo, what are you listening to?" He's like, "Airplane noises." No, he said brown noise. He called it brown noise. <laughs> and then he like cut off. He's like, "Yo," I was like, "What if uh it, the video ends?" He's like, "Nah, I'll be asleep by then." I was like, <laughs> "That's wild." I was trying to do that before. But the, the ones on YouTube, they have like an intro song. Yeah. <laughs> so if it re, and I had it on replay, right? No, so I would fine. replay and it's like this random ass music. Welcome to. <laughs> like, that, that, you're, you're the worst when the ad comes. Yeah, or like yeah, an ad. Whole oh, you, say, you, got, you guys said ASMR. You, you go to sleep to ASMR? ASMR. <laughs> like, like ASMR? Like, Gavin, Gavin loves ASMR. Oh, you know okay, the, like, great. Yeah, you no, know, yeah, the, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, you don't have to be shy. You can be honest. Yo, you know the plane attendant ones? Oh, no, like, yeah, the no, 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 yeah, yeah, that's like eye doctor. Yeah, when they're like, close your eyes, I'm like, yes. Role playing. Close your eyes. <laughs> like, I love it. <laughs> no, no, yo, 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 for me, yo, if you want to go to sleep. You get that though, I watch that too. Yo, yo, if you want to go to sleep, turn on GTA and just stand there, bro. And just listen to the NPC. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Bro, I haven't yes. heard that before. Yes. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the best way to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like simulating real life. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, yo. That is kind of calming though to, to feel like, wait, what? That's the white noise we need. Yeah, what is that? Move out the way, bitch. Yeah, like what? <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, what? It's been going on for a while now. So nah, I didn't hear it till now. I didn't hear it till now. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Bind you, bind you. A ghost? <laughs> <laughs> but nah. The, the dentist, too? I watched those. Nah, but he's talking about he be seeing things. He's not lying, bro. Ooh. Nah, nah. What would be so fucked? Imagine, like, you could gain a sixth sense. I Imagine your first night, like, Let's say, let's say something activated your sixth sense because sixth sense, you can see ghosts and spirits and shit, right? Now, I don't think it would be like a gradual progression. Wouldn't you just like see it that second? I feel like everyone has a sixth sense, but it's not always ghosts. Like, you think I can, something else? Like, a sixth sense to tell I can catch a lie real easy or a sixth sense to like- oh. I can catch a camera. Nah, nah. Do you think everybody has their own superpower? Oh yeah, it's like, it's like I have fast reflexes. That's my sixth sense, you mm. feel me? Because not everyone's ghosts. My mom is ghost. Like she sees shit. She, she has the she has a sixth sense. She sees yeah. a lot of shit. Yeah. But me, I don't have a sixth sense. I feel like it's just my reflex. Like mm -hmm. if you like, I never fall. Like the crazy thing that's about me, you like, 
<laughs> you know, like, like my balance is is insane. So it's like I feel like that's my sixth sense. Like, yeah. I never. No, never. I, I know you. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen him fall, bro. Fact, I've never seen him fall. Fact. Fact. No, I remember in a mosh pit at Rolling Loud. No, never, no, no, never, no, never, no, never. No, never. I never. We were about to fall. I said I can't fall. <laughs> it's, 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 it's impossible. Yeah. Impossible. Oh, yeah. oh, let's talk about one thing, bro. Where you almost got beat up by the guy in front of all the baddies. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oh, Do you guys know that story? Scott Ryan. Yeah, this guy Ryan almost died. Tell Ryan, me, fam. Ryan almost got yeah, yeah, fucked up. What happened? No, because we were in the mosh pit waiting for Sheck West's concert. Sheck West. Sheck West. And then um, they were throwing these water packets into the crowd so people get hydrated and shit. So somebody threw it at me. It hit my shoulder. I was like, what the fuck? I picked it up. I looked at the chair and I was like, where did it come from? And he's like, yo, it just came from over there. I flew it as fast as I could. Like as fast and as hard as I could. It slapped this guy in his face. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, no, no, no. he threw it. He threw it. We thought he was going to throw it far. This guy threw it like two meters in front of him. All, all, all you hear, all you hear is this. <laughs> now, yo, 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 the worst part that it was a big black guy too. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yo, and that's yo, what made it worse. Yo, all you heard, that's all you see. Worse. What's that? Oh, oh my God. God. What is it then? And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, in my head, I'm like, yo, maybe if I it can explain what's going on, like, you can't, it'll bro. be fine. But he's serious. And bear in mind, there's like maybe 10 people, like 10 people yeah. In, yeah. between me. They're and holding him back, bro. Like, he was ready to fight you. Yo, yo, he was running. Hold him back. That's when you know that guy's a problem. All of a sudden, like, it cleared. Yeah. And it's just like, it's a UFC off Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a circle. It was a big awesome. circle. Yo, 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 yo. My man made a mosh pit just for the fight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they made a mosh pit oh, just for the fight. Oh, the And then, fucking. All I see is Ryan just look straight dead at the guy. <laughs> and then a man, a man goes, Tiago Silva. And then I go, oh, Tiago Silva. And then a huge chat, huge chat. In my head, I was like, I was about to call security fam. Security! <laughs> 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 You know Ryan, like he makes it worse. Like he laughs in situations like that's that. That's what made it worse. Why would you laugh, bro? I'm laughing my head off. But it's like, serious, why would you bro? laugh? It's like he's like, my bad, bro. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then his boy, like, oh, why would you laugh at a big black guy, bro? That, that, yo, Kuda, you know not to laugh at big black guys, bro. When they're angry. So then, like, everyone starts chanting, oh, Tiago Silva. And then all of a sudden, like, Cheers everyone just kind of like forgot about it. But he's looking back, and I'm stressed. I'm like, bro, this. I don't even. I'm not even enjoying the concert no more. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was quiet. He was quiet. Yeah. No, no, no. It was Sheck West. If you're quiet during Sheck yeah. West's set, the whole time I'm thinking, yeah. "Fuck!" Like we were all having fun, and then Ryan's just in the back. He's, he's I kept, still short. I kept looking at Ryan. He was like the last person in the group. All the way yeah. back. Yeah. I felt so bad. You know those ones. As soon as Sheck West came off the stage, I just went up to the bro and I was like, "You know what, man." That was my yeah, bad. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. I was like, yo, that's my bad. And he's like, yo, he's, and his boys are like, bro, he actually would have fucked you up. I'm like, I don't know about all that. <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> Come on, man, 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 can't forget that we were like 10 mans deep. Like, well, we, we had bare man. But the bro. thing is, like, it was one of those nine mans deep. I wasn't fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin wasn't gonna fight, bro. Gavin was gonna fight. Gavin literally went like this. She's like, I'm getting ready to sneak him, bro. I'm getting ready to sneak him. Carlos is in the corner and he's, he's clutching his fist. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was ready to sneak him. Like, I was ready to sneak him. And then his girl, he, she was in the mix. She's like, stop. Stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like this. You're not like this. <laughs> You're a it's not worth it. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me no, tell you something. Like, no, you meant to throw it at someone else. Like, facts, <laughs> facts. But that was funny. Yo. 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 I would do it again, though, for sure. No <laughs> cap. <laughs> Right now. <laughs> Yo, Kuda does not want to live, bro. Man, <laughs> Kuda I will do it again. The thing is, because you guys know how I am when I get cheesed, I will actually pay something. But in that situation, I was like not even prepared to yeah, argue facts, or facts. anything. I just wanted to have a good time. But like, I was shook, bro. I was stuck. Like, he was going to come at me and punch me, and I would have done nothing. I would have just been standing there. Mm. The but if it was anyone else, I know I know you would have fought anyways. That's, That's what I'm saying. It just happened to be the biggest. Who do you think fights more, girls or guys? Guys, bro. Guys. No, no. I, I, think I, I, about I it. Think care, about it, like, though. Really I've, I've think, never, though. I've seen more girls fight at the club same, than guys. Same. I've seen more Stop. girls fight than guys. I hear you, but, but like um, when I was in Ottawa, right? When mm. I was in college or whatever. I, I know these guys, they go out just to fight every weekend. What the fuck? Yeah. Bro, they go, they go to the bars just so they could fight. Like, that's their mission. That's messed yeah, up. They're, they're going to cash. 
Bro, that's dangerous for them. Yo, 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 but cause if you think about your ass, no, no, no. at school, who's fighting more, bro? It's at always school, guys, it's bro. like ninety percent guys. No, it's boys. not. It is. I've seen more girls fight. I'm seeing more girls fight. Remember St. Mary's at like eight a.m. You walk over, girls are fighting. That's, that's true. true. Oh, not hear me out. That's not real fights, though. That's that's, that's like talking fights. Yo, yo, no, I, am, am I wrong when I say girls? I don't know about that, bro. Girls, they beef that. more though. Like verbally, they fight more. Yeah, girls, yeah. But yeah. Like basically, guys. Have you guys ever gotten in a fight or not? Yo, there's one day. I don't think so. Oh, true. There's one day that there's like five five guy fights on the same day, bro. Uh, yo, wasn't it the all day we were, if there was the one fight that happened at the yeah, plaza? Yeah, that, that then day, we came bro. Back that day. And then Malik and. <laughs> <laughs> That's the day, bro. That's the day. Like, yo, like, yo, yo. If, if I were to go across the room and ask every single here p- person here how many times they fought someone. I think the guy's gonna have like more fights. Okay, that's man. true. That's actually very true. Like, yo, like, yo, like, yo, how, how many fights are you doing? That's actually true. No, but we're saying physical, like, physical yeah, fights. Yeah, 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 okay, like, physical, I guess like, verbal, verbal and more yeah, 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 yeah. girls. Yeah, I, it's definitely girls. Physical fights, bro. But physical, it is guys. You're right. Yeah. But I think I think girls they just like they have like a hatred that they hold on to. Yeah. Yeah. Am I wrong? Like a grudge. They hold grudges. They hold grudges. Like guys, guys will be mad, but it's easy for us to calm. Yeah, not, not, like, sure. like think about guys like after the fight like you're, you're chill yeah. yeah you're chill all the beef is done but it, you yeah, have that I'm monster not. mode but i feel like everybody has a monster mode girls have that too no yeah like when you when you're pissed off at someone like all they see is fury and like fuck 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 like they cheat i don't i feel like girls don't really act on it that much mm-hmm. as much as guys do why do you think that is though i don't know maybe just the girls that i'm around they don't really like they just know? like to talk shit behind closed yeah. doors yeah mm. pretty much what do you think's worse what do you think's worse talk getting talk shit behind closed doors or, or it confronting like Right in person. Behind nah, behind, behind the doors. That's, doors. that's worse, right? Because they could be showing you fake love in person. That's mm-hmm. a, that's a weak shit. I think that's more dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Tell it to my face, I give you a hug. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. And sneak a punch in there, you feel me? <laughs> so yeah, bad. but I think, okay, do you think girls are more dangerous than guys? Nah. In what way? Nah, nah, what just way? generally. <laughs> generally. Actually, yeah, mentally. Generally, yeah. like mentally, everything. Like, everything all together. Do you think girls are more dangerous than guys? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think, no well, way. there's even like, do you guys remember like three years ago where like p- girls were like actually like ruining guys like careers and like college and stuff with like all the accusations and stuff when that was going around? Amber yeah. Heard, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah. like that's the only thing I can huh? say that about girls that like is one that? thing that will always bother me is that like they can now I don't know if it's any different. Like obviously I've never been in the situation to say it, but like they can get away with a lot of shit. Like yeah. they what until it's kind of like, scary sometimes. what until recently they kind of actually started getting like shit ba- like. Bit, biting them in the ass for stuff like that but like what like four or five years ago people would get like rape accusations in college the guy would lose their career and stuff they'd no longer be able to play their sport and then it'd be proven false and the girl just kind of gets away with it mm-hmm. like it doesn't really matter and girls like, cheat and that, more too <laughs> girls cheat more oh, yeah. girls cheat more yeah. I feel like guys cheat more. <laughs> I don't know. You guys have to defend that one. Yeah. Girls cheat more. Y'all have to defend Why? that Explain one. Do you think girls cheat more? Black men never cheat. Not me personally. Yo, yo, talk, talk to them because they're girls right there. I've seen the game like girls actually just cheat more and they'll have a straight face to it. They don't care. They're Sophia, dangerous. is that true? Is, is, is that true? Come on. Not, not me. Not me. Yeah, it's obviously not them, but like. But like, do you think girls or guys cheat more? I think guys cheat more. Oh, no, you can't, man. I think guys cheat more. I'm sorry. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's girls because it's e- it's easier. I, I, I didn't want to. Never mind. Never mind. It, no, but it's it's, it's, it's easier for a girl that. to have sex. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it is. Yeah, then, then, then a guy, like you have to put in way more. A guy, a guy has to like work to cheat than a girl does. If you're a guy and you can cheat, bro, you're your risk god. That's all yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. But yeah, I, like say, I always like, say, girls say the guys are easy. Like, I don't think say. anyone cheats more than the other. <laughs> I just feel like <laughs> guys, guys, guys do it in such stupid ways so they get caught. Yeah, they get caught. Girls are more sneaky. But like I know bare girls that I've dealt with in the past that one day all of a sudden they post happy for your happy for your anniversary. You my boy. So like there's this girl like I was I dealt with her consistently for like a couple of years, bro. All of a sudden, happy five year anniversary, babe. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and I know so many of those kinds of situations. Like I know bare girls five who have boyfriends. That's crazy, bro. Five That's five actually crazy. crazy. Okay, I got I got a question for you, Kuda. Did you break the news to him or no? It's got nothing to do with me, man. <laughs> going on 10 years now <laughs> damn you got nothing to do with me man no. i sent a wedding gift and everything <laughs> five years bro damn do you think if Charlie. someone cheats on you they love you or not like they do they love you? me personally if that were to ever happen to me in a situation nah. where i had been cheating on i would not talk to them ever again like, me too like i have enough self-respect I, I, agree, I, I have enough 
self-confidence and uh, self-respect to know that if someone were to be able to do that to me, they are not worth my time. It's 100%. as simple as that. But what's, what's that thing you told me? I don't know if it was you that told me. Oh, if somebody yeah. said it to me you like- have to, You have to cheat on your girl to know if you really love her. <laughs> that's that's dumb great. Shit. Oh, that's Ryan. Ryan said that no, shit to no, me. Ryan, no, no, it's future. It's future. It's don't future. let your girlfriend- like, Future relation. <laughs> you do it your way. <laughs> And if you feel bad, you know you <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked. That's that's how you know our generation. You know I seen a video of a girl who's like, that's the worst. Who's like, oh, I, I know you're gonna, I know you're gonna fuck me over in the future, so I'ma fuck you. Which is crazy. I'm what? Like, Damn, this generation is so fucked up because it's like, oh, you're gonna ruin my life, so I'm gonna get with you. It's like the nice guy really does finish last now. Everything's so backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's so much backwards shit right now. Toxic. Conversation with you about that? How everything's backwards? What do you mean? Like. Like, you know how before you would, like, like back in the old days, whatever, you would, like, court them and whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like, you go on dates and, like, you end up having sex, getting Facts. married, whatever, blah, blah, Now it's, like, so different. Like, you have sex, sex first, first and then... Facts. And then you, you get to know them. And then, yeah. yeah, that's oh. actually so true, and bro. you know what? Because I was watching... I had to stop watching because I was just, like, it's too much. Mm. But I started watching Shameless. Mm. And it's, like, the girl, like, she sees a guy at the club. And then right away... They, they do the deed, and then after, they're like, oh, let's date. I'm like, wait, what? No, I feel like, yeah, that's the stage now. It's like, first sex, then you get to, wait, to know Then them. it becomes more intimate. I've yeah. talked to some people, and they're like, oh, sometimes I need to, to know if there's, like, we're compatible or there's chemistry there. And I'm like, yeah, that's not but right that's way. not. That, that's something you can always kind of work on. Yo, yo, yo. Not because the, the post not clarity is crazy. No, honestly, though, like, that, that, that's a, that's that, a real that thing. compatibility with, like, clarity? sex yeah. stuff is, like... I, I don't. Yeah, like you see all these serial really killer thing that. now. It's like, how do you even trust someone? <laughs> on a Girls don't get post not clarity, right? Like, like they don't get anything after. They know they, what they're doing. When they're getting into it. They polish the pearl, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> That's what they call it. The they they <laughs> DJ the record. <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> what? <laughs> That's wait, what wait, they wait, do. What? <laughs> <laughs> nah, the girl. What? Do girls get post not clarity? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a good question, bro. That's a good question. Like we actually don't know. We actually don't know. We actually don't know. We're just trying to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> that, that's a good question. Yeah, that, we're trying our best to get to the bottom of this. I'm gonna come get that. Guess we'll never know. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> Bro, every time, like, if I'm about to make a big decision, I, 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 I beat my meat still. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. No, no, because the post not clarity just helps me just have a more clear mind to make the best decision. So like if I was to win the lottery, that's the first thing I'm doing. Yeah. Before anything Bust else. a nut? Yeah. But before anything if, else, if you win a lottery, that's the first thing I'm doing. And then after that, when my mind's clear, I can start moving forward. Bro, you're, you're already no, you already have the money. You know what's crazy? Yeah. Yeah. You're already the money. You're, you're, no, no, you don't no, make a like, decision. Bro, most lottery winners go broke. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's true. That's that, very that's true. Also, yeah, yeah. That's also broke. people who don't have but an but like understanding time, of like bro. what needs to happen. Like those are also people who don't really have their shit sorted. I personally believe that. I believe if you go broke after winning, like what Lotto Max right now is like seventy million dollars in Canada. Uh -huh. You get the whole seventy mil. With taxes I like two hundred thousand. No, there's no there's no <laughs> If you don't, if you don't know in Canada, our lottery does not get cut by tax. It's really? a full lotto. Yes, in the states, in the states, your lottery gets cut. But here in Canada, you win whatever the total number is advertised. Anyway, um, people who go broke after winning something like a number like that literally don't have a understanding of like financial gain and where they need to be in life and don't understand. It's a, it's a mindset, bro. It, like bro. how all it takes. All it takes is if you win seventy million dollars, you put thirty-five in a direct interest savings account that will solely add money to itself, and you <laughs> literally just play with the thirty-five. You buy your house, you buy your car, or whatever, and you keep a set amount of it untouched. You give yourself like twenty to keep in the bank, fifteen to spend upright, and the other half of that seventy million stays in an account. It's not hard to. Like, no, but you know what it is, bro? That. This is this is literally it's why so everybody hard. loses money is because it's the mindset, yeah, fam. The mindset, like you can have, let's say, let's say I give you $50, bro. If if you spend and you blow your $50 on a bunch of random shit that you don't need, I'm you're going to do that with 50 million. Yeah. You know? True. It's the same yeah, shit. Also, most most of lottery winners don't understand like what to, they, they weren't sorted in life to begin with originally. Like they weren't already set off. They, they yeah, it's all mindset. Like cut. I, I personally, this is what I believe. God, God, stops you from receiving shit that you really want because he knows there's evil that will come with it. So let's say you win the lottery, fam. 
who knows? He might be a drug addict. Uh, when you... I disagree with that, bro. Nah, listen. No, no, because why, like, why, there's why? so many people out there who like are fucked up that have bare money. So that's what exactly like, what I'm saying. That uh, proves my point. No, but you said could God have, stops that could from have. happening. And I, no, I'm no, no. But like, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, maybe, maybe sometimes it, you, you're, it's a blessing in disguise that it actually gets stopped. Are you saying that God paces you? Yeah. Like, if you don't get what you wanted right away, it's, maybe it's for a purpose. Mm. Maybe it's for a purpose. Because maybe you're not ready. Maybe you're not ready for the blessings, you know? Because sometimes you get it fast, right? But those are the people, maybe those are the people that don't give a shit about anything, and that's why they, their life ends up like that anyway. Not to say that that's for everybody. Everybody's case is different. But more than likely, like, I see people, their, their mind's somewhere else. I mean, they're not on the good morals when all this bad shit happens to them and they just dig deeper and deeper and deeper into trouble, right? Mm. But yeah, I guess you just be your meat first and then. Yeah, no. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's a moral, moral story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be your meat before every yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> when, when your mind's clear. Yeah, wow. yeah be your meat first. Yo, my, there's like, there's some, uh, there's a superstition where my friend said, he's like, yo, I don't, if there's a big thing coming up, like a big game or anything, if you beat your meat before it, it's bad. It's it like is bad. bad. It is bad. That's why I don't beat my meat. I won't lie. I won't lie. I used to think like that. It's true, right? I used to think like, beat my John before like. Before something big happens. I think this conversation <laughs> no, you can Okay, do girls You never answer the question Do girls DJ the not, record? I don't know what you're <laughs> No, 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 about. dude Do girls have post not clarity? <laughs> anyway Yes or no, yes or no Do girls I don't know No? No comment No comment <laughs> It's a secret It's a secret We'll never know I uh, guess we'll never know I'll figure it out though I'll figure it out though Nah, I beat, I beat my John before a game And I like I had a I was play fighting with Jalen Yeah Oracle, And his watch got stuck on my finger you just don't have the dog in you, bro. Yeah, so it's just bad luck. Yeah. I still played that game. You're not him, not bro. Like, yo, 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 like, when you're beating your meat, like all your energy is just going out, bro. Like, 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 as as nah, I just thought that God was saying I was sinning on some shit. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's why I it's just a superstition. Because it's like, fuck, why did I sin right now? I'm, I'm yeah. a I used to go home and be like, mm. fuck. You feel me? Mm. But if you do it after it. Like, after it's a celebration. If you if you say, go to a job interview, you get the job. Be with me right after. That's a celebration. I guess you could, yeah, you can actually look at it like that. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, you can actually look at it like that. So. After the first date goes good, beat your meat when you get home. You Beating your meat is what if you lose it? You're like, fuck, I yeah. need to just get it off my mind. You feel like my life sucks after. <laughs> We're losing yeah, your question? Wait, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think God is a punishing God? Like, do you think he punishes? Mm. We went from beating your meat. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Because you beat your meat, right? Because you beat your meat. So do you think you'll get punished if you beat your meat? It's an awesome God. I, I, feel, I feel like if you think about it, it's an awesome God. Is that a saying, right? No, that's not Yeah, right. awesome God? Yeah. Is it a St. Mary's song? No, I think I think everybody knows about like oh. like Catholic people know about it. Or God's an awesome God. So. No, nah, but do you think that's true? Do you think um you get punished for it? Because yo, yo, I know like in Christian in like Christianity, like our God is like it's like the fear of God. Like that's like the main like statement for I, I know like every religion, like they all have like their own statement like for their God. And I think for Christianity, like it was a fear of God. Like that's like the main statement of for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just curious how we switched up topics so fast. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. We switched up quick time. We switched up quick time. You guys want to bring up anything before we wrap up? Uh, <laughs> uh, what was that? I don't know. Yo, that, that means me, bro? <laughs> yeah, we'll get one more topic before we wrap it up because we're running out of time. Food? So oh, she wants to talk about food. Oh, she you want to talk about food? I think we had a food, food thing. We did talk about food. There's pizza. Yeah. No, are you a spicy like or a sweet person? Oh. <laughs> are you spicy or sweet person? Are you spicy? <laughs> are you spicy? <laughs> are you spicy? <laughs> are you spicy? Right, okay, okay. Here's a good topic. Do you think? Do you think people give off effects of things they like? So let's what? say, let's say, wait, 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 wait. do you think people give off effects of inanimate things? Inanimate things that they like. You gotta explain. That. Yeah, I gotta explain that. So <laughs> listen, listen. listen. You so so, so you I love. Adamant. I love nachos. Do you think I'm a nacho guy? <laughs> Do you get that though? Because sometimes I know you're saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So listen, listen, listen. Like I can kind of sense Sophia <laughs> likes pickles because she's kind of like a pickle girl. Oh, yeah. Wait, so, so if I like spices, because I'm spicy. <laughs> yeah, I'll explain. I'll explain it more. I'll explain it more. So I remember we were in the group chat one time, right? And we're kind of we're kind of like explaining everybody's type. And I'm like, Gavin likes those type of girls that have a trampoline in their backyard. <laughs> but it's accurate, but it's accurate. Even though it's like an inanimate thing, 
it kind of matches their personality. It's like, it's oh, like, so it's like Carlos. It's yeah. like someone meets Carlos and they're like, oh, I didn't know you'd play the guitar. I didn't know you're that type of person to play the guitar or something like that. It's like they couldn't imagine him. Do you think, but do you think like, like certain that. things, like you can tell right away they're that person? Yeah, sure. brown because yeah. I like sure. curry. Well, I think so. Like, I feel like all, for example, hockey boys. Hockey boys are all the same. Mm. Yes. I don't want to say all the same, but very similar. Very similar. Very I agree. Do I look like a hockey boy? But would you have guessed? No. You're, you're, you're you a hockey boy? No. He's not a hockey <laughs> boy. Wait, so like, I'm a brown boy because I like curry. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I like curry on brown. No, it's like, um, let's say you like Tootsie Rolls. Oh, yeah. Tootsie yeah, Rolls? Yeah, like Josh seems like a Tootsie Rolls type of guy. Hell no, Tootsie Rolls, you're wild, bro. You're wild. You're wild. You're wild. It's true, right? But he's saying he's not a Tootsie Rolls. No, I'm just saying example. I'm not saying he is. I'm not saying he is. Should we try guessing? Okay, let's guess. Let's go around the room and let's pick. Try try and guess something that the other person really enjoys doing. That but it's, it's hard because I know everybody that well. Yeah. You know? Well, I feel like I know everyone that time. You seem like a Caesar salad. <laughs> a Caesar salad? How do you know? <laughs> Yo, that's accurate. Yeah, now, that's accurate. What the fuck? <laughs> that's actually accurate. Yeah, I, I just know you. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I'm actually a Caesar. Yeah, I only eat Caesar salad. Like, that's the only salad I eat. That's crazy. That's crazy. I, that's I crazy. see it in you. Like, <laughs> you, he likes a Oh, I got it. He likes bear paws. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I'm right. I'm right. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a valid theory. It's a valid theory. Sasha likes uh, Fruit Loops. Do you like those Fruit Loops? Like cereal? No, like the, the ones you have to roll up. And, like, the, the I roll. used to when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. No, but I feel like everybody liked that. No, 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 no. Sasha specifically liked the ones that put tattoos on your tongue. Oh my gosh! When Yo. I was a kid, when I was a kid, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm when saying. When I was a kid, yes. Yeah. See, you got to be more specific. You got to be like super specific. That. Yeah. When I look at cherry, you know what I see? What? Brussels sprouts. <laughs> you like Brussels sprouts? I hate it's because the hair. It's nah. The hair. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be on the timing, bro. You gotta be on the. It's kind of like that frequency thing. When like you, Dino, you know when I you guess salmon. shit. Dino, you like salmon? salmon? You like salmon? That's Reese's. That was a Reese's. Uh, <laughs> that's Reese's. Like salmon. Nah. Like salmon? I feel like that's really stereotype. Like, that's Reese's. Like, yeah, I, I don't mind it, but like I don't go for it. Like if it's on the menu, I'm not Reese's. I just I'm looking at salmon. When I see no, Kudo, it's tricky because it, like sometimes it comes off as stereotyping. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. That's true. It can come off. When you see Kudo, when I see Kudo, yeah, no, I got Kudo. I got Kudo. I got Kudo. The fried chicken. <laughs> that wasn't my voice. That wasn't my voice. That was Josh. That was Josh. Yeah, yeah. No, cool. That's a fried chicken bowl. No, no. People are gonna think I said that because because the audio on the podcast. That was Josh. That was that was. Me. <laughs> now, Kuda, let, let, let me like feel your energy real quick. I got one for Kuda, but I can't see. I think I think you're like a like a blue Gatorade. No, you're wrong still. Oh. <laughs> but you, you never know. He always capping. Yeah, he like, he's always capping. He probably no, no, does no, no, drink no, that often. Corn. Yeah, no, I oh, seen him pick up the orange. Oh, okay, he had an okay. orange one, or he the had a red one earlier, and he had the orange ones. So, oh, okay, he's not okay. capping about Dino, that. Dino, what do you think Dino's is? That's a tough one. I'm just curious. <laughs> Dino? Dino? That's a hard like a one. chicken parm. Nah, yo, 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 Dino is... That's stereotyping. Is it? What? Dino looks like a milkman, bro. A milkman? Dino looks like a milkman. I know he drinks milk instead of water. He's definitely a milkman. <laughs> what do you say? She's like, I, li- I think Dino likes mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> racist. That's <laughs> racist. Is it? No, I love mashed potatoes. Right? No, mashed potatoes. Right? Mashed potatoes. I'd rather, I'd rather have like a fully loaded potato. Like a baked potato. Like a fully potato. loaded baked potato. <laughs> Not like a basic baked potato, but like, With like green cheese, onions, bacon. cheese, sour, sour cream. cream. Okay, okay. We got, we got to get like, like specific. Like specific. No, mm. but I feel like that's hard, but I feel like you can definitely tell um, first impressions, like if someone's mean or nice. Like if, mm. if I never knew Carlos, for sure mean. The tat. I'm not mean the, though. Jim, the eyebrows, look at the eyebrows. No, 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 I'm not I, mean. I, 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 you think I'm a mean guy? No, it's like, you know, the energy you give off. Like, no, but I feel like, okay, tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, but everybody that's approached me automatically thought I was a nice guy. Mm. You know what I mean? No, nobody thought I was no, mean. No, you look like the bad guy from That's what line. I'm saying. Right? That's what I'm saying. I guess so. Yeah. I guess Carlos so. the anti. Is that true? Like you can feel energy if, like, say you meet a guy for the first time, you can feel the energy in his. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, I think or I feel that, that with. Is, or is that all like? I feel that with people. No, like I actually feel like energy, fam. Yo, uh, so I don't know why. Think of me? But uh, yo, I feel like Gavin's afraid of the dark. <laughs> 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 you seem like you're afraid of the dark. Yeah, I'm 
like you're, you're afraid of the dark. Yeah, Gavin actually Chris turns off the lights in the basement and runs to the stairs. No, because that, that's just like a, a backhanded thing. It's like, oh, you're just a pussy. I think that's a pussy. <laughs> you feel me? Nah. No, you got to be more specific. You got to yeah, be like yeah. the nitty gritty specific. That's why he didn't help me when I was about to get beat up. I give off like, uh, what do you call this? I don't know. Like comforting energy. Like you can come up and talk to me. I don't know. That's just yeah. like cotton candy. Yeah. 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 You like cotton candy? We're hungry kids today, like right now. Like once we're referring to food the most. Yeah, we're hungry. We're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sophia, what do you think Sophia is? Pizza, pizza. I, I go I Pizza, pizza? pizza? pizza looks mean. I don't know. No, she's a creamy garlic. You remember that religion yeah. class? She's a creamy yeah. garlic girl. She's actually a ketchup mayo mixed together. That's oh, I, I can but see that's that. Like every Filipino one. That's like all yeah, Filipino ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Isn't that Big Mac size? <laughs> that's not wow. racist. That one's not wow. racist. She guys. says he likes mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, love, I love mashed potatoes. <laughs> I didn't mean Specifically like Adino? Am I? I'm like not going to lie though, Adino does seem like a man. Doesn't he? I'm not even going to lie, I like you a lot. He's a potato. I'm not going to count. Charon, what's Charon? Oh, I fucking love waffles. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let's get specific though. We got to get specific. Does Charon look mean or nice? If like you nice. saw him on the street. Nice. 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 He looks like a nice guy. He looks like a nice He's always guy. smiling. Yeah, He's always man. smiling. Man. He looks like a nice guy. And then guy. you see him at you work. You give off like Cajun. Like, and then you see Charon at work in the back. <laughs> <laughs> cooking up. <laughs> you give off paprika. I like paprika. I'm not gonna lie. Cause I told you. He's paprika? I paprika or paprika? I think I think that's you, paprika. Smells I, I want to find one for Gavin too, but like, just said, I'm afraid of dark, bro. RJ, RJ, RJ? RJ, I feel like I give off Papa. I, I gave you one, didn't I? Papa burgers. Burger. He gives me Papa. He, he gives, gives me Papa chicken nuggets. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? <laughs> pause. 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 <laughs> now let, let me think. I like. I, I gotta think like real head. I work at for RJ. Go to Let me get a buddy burger, man. Get a buddy burger. <laughs> <laughs> buddy burger. <laughs> buddy burger. <laughs> like, yo, I have to say, yo, let me get a buddy burger, please. <laughs> <laughs> they have to whisper it. I have to whisper it. People yeah, look at me. Let me get a double buddy burger. <laughs> oh, they can't even ask for a hot dog in public no more. I'll lie. I'll, yo, yeah. That's how, that's how social media That's crazy. Out. Like, I can't enjoy a hot dog, like, without a man. Like, yo, this yo, one's in glizzy. glizzy the, yo, the last, time, the last time I had a glizzy, Carlos was just staring at me the whole time. Oh, wow. Pause. 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 That's a cap. Pause, Pause bro. Carlos, Carlos, the pioneers of the glizzy like shaming facts am i yes yes when was this every time i was the one who okay when we got food for the cottage was i not the first one that's like yo let's get some glizzies so (laughs) so i can clown you i can make one of you guys when you're eating it nah i eat that shit too that's true eat that shit too man okay hot dog versus a burger burger Burgers. Burger, burger, hot easy. Dog. Hot dog, hot. hot. Whoa. Nah, no you say hot dog? You know what I say is burger. In a hot dog. You know what's in a burger? A hot dog. A hot dog is. You like hot dogs better? McDonald's, you dirty. The meat, boy. the meat is so suspicious. Of there are no clean hot dogs. No, that's just. What's a hot dog? But what you mean? Oh, like, like no, make a mess. Like make a mess. But that's how you depict what you want to eat. How much mess you're gonna make? Well, if what I do that. How much hot, what? Hot dogs and hamburgers, yeah. Oh. So you would. I know, hot dog, dog gets a bit messy still. No, it doesn't. No, hot, dog messy, hot, hot dog is messy, hot dog is messy. That shit's spilling. Oh, oh, that's what you eat, you eat playing too? Yeah, I don't, I, don't I, like that. I don't like condiments. No condiments, bro. No condiments. Straight, just straight glizz. Play glizzy. I don't care, man. I eat that shit raw. Pause. I eat that with no condiments. I'm with you there. My brother. My brother. You didn't have to say all that. Always I was on your side, bro. <laughs> Josh is glizzy, no bun, fam. No bun, no, no bun, no condiment. No. It's all about the bun, bro. Okay. Do you, do you guys mess with pogos? Do you, do you guys mess with those? <laughs> you never like those? Nah. I used to have that for lunch like almost every day. Yeah, hot dogs are thing. Pogo, when pogo. Pogos? Yeah. Pogos? <laughs> you ever had pogo? Yeah, there's two things. You know what's nice? Yeah, I, did, I didn't like it, but. Korean uh, corn dog. Low key, those are so Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Pogo, oh, Pogo. They look so nasty. No, to me. Chill, I used to eat that, that all the time. Chill 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 man. Chill I used to eat that shit with rice too. So it would have breading and rice. Ew. I know, I know. It's I, dirt. I just don't know when you when you have like a corn dog, like how fresh could it really be? That's what I'm concerned about. Because you know, really that's actually really just true. Have, you have a hot dog sitting wrapped in a bun that cannot be cooked or touched for how long? And you really. Yo, 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 like, that, you know that's the matter. Yo, do you know Dalgone, the Korean barbecue place? Yeah. No, no, but my friend, what they do. Oh, ah, fuck, I don't want to roll. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's like, you know how you're, you're supposed to order the meat, right? They have the meat, like, ready for you to get. And, like, just, right? And, and 
and she got sick off it because obviously the meat sits, it sits there yeah. for a bu- like a long time and like she got the craziest food poisoning. Y'all ever get salmonella? Yeah, cap, yeah, nah, I never got it. Why does he look like <laughs> y'all ever get <laughs> yes, salmonella? Bro, yeah, bro. Doing what? Uh, Ch- Ch- a dumbass. Uh, bro, That's what he did. Uh, yo, 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 Ch- 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 yo, the dirtier the restaurant, the better the food, bro. I don't know about that one. The better the food. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yo, especially if it's in the hood. No, no, it's no. gonna taste be- way better, bro. I'm if they you. only take cash, <laughs> if they only take cash. Oh, that's uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the one. That's one. If they only take cash, it, it's fire. Laundering scheme and the workers are rude. You're gonna have the best. The best of your life. Yes. If the workers are rude, okay, okay. Exactly. I can see that. I can see that. If there's okay. flies in the meat department. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Wait, what'd Whoa. you say? <laughs> Archie you know comes you go out left side field. Food thing all the always time. flies and shit. Them shit's always good, man. No, my brother, you've asked me. You saying like if a restaurant has like flies and shit? I don't know about <laughs> that one, bro. I don't know about that one, stuff. That's, that's authentic meat. Exactly. Oh. That's, authentic. that's dirt, bro. I don't know what that. <laughs> oh, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? So, so this is the biggest finesse in the Philippines. My dad said in the Philippines when they have like um not show pal but like kind of sa- sandwiches, the bows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They'll put they'll put like the meat just on the outside. I'm trying to hold the mic with my chin, but they'll put the meat on the outside. And then like, no, and then the rest behind it. (laughs) I can't even finish my story, bro. Go, 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 go. The bowels. Yeah. So imagine, imagine this glass, right? Yeah. And then the sandwiches are are facing the glass of this. All the meat sandwiches. So the the meat's facing on the outside. (laughs) So it looks like there's hella meat, but actually it's all bun. No, that's facts. That is yeah, they finesse it like that. Yeah, that's what they do with like advertisements that's too. Like they use move. fake. Like, yeah, you know what? They use they use glue on pizza in the pizza commercials. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when, when they do the the stretchy shit like this, yeah, that's glue. glue. Yeah, it's crazy. That's, uh, Elmer's Elmer's glue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even like the sesame seeds, like they put extra ones on. They fucking they put everything to to make it look different. They, bro. they also use I, I saw one of them. they use toothpicks to hold up the burgers so they look bigger and more appetizing. Mm. Fries. In yeah. the photos. Even like cake and shit, they like, just put like fake <laughs> stuff on it. Broads. I know. I know everybody's yeah. hungry. I, you want to wrap it up? We had pizza, pizza, bro. That's the worst type of pizza. We can't have one more time. Okay, 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 okay. Last thing, last thing. Okay, okay last thing, last thing before we wrap it. Best pizza spot. Go. Pizza Nova. Little Caesars. Pizza Nova. Um, Little Caesars. Oh, Papa John's. Papa John's. Yeah. Papa John's. Papa John's? Little Caesars. Wait, what? Best pizza place. Best pizza place. Yeah. Papa John's, bro. <laughs> 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 They're the best place. They're the best. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. No. He's saying. <laughs> nah, that's around. That's around. Yeah, outro. Oh, I need an outro. So, you, yo, Baba John's pizza. Yo, you got to search it up. Best pizza in the world, bro. Pizziolo. He's yo, okay. Should, should, I ta- uh, should I spit that story real quick? See it. All right, so, so, the, <laughs> so in in our ends, right? There's this pizza spot. It's not called Papa John's. It's called Baba John's. <laughs> so it's like a brown version of Papa John's, right? It's one of those like uh, mom and pop type of stories. Nah, it's it fire. It's serious. Yeah. <laughs> Cheering hmm? our people. Listen, listen. It's not fire, but let me tell your story. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so good, bro. <laughs> they had poutine, and I was like, let's say grade six, looking looking at one of their specialty poutines. Ah, like, oh, should, should I get like the the bacon poutine? Should I get like one of these meat poutines? And I asked him, can I get the bacon poutine? This guy tells me, oh, sorry, boss, we ran out of bacon. I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. But we have the meat sauce poutine today. I'm like what? Ooh. Meat sauce poutine? <laughs> yeah, we have it today. We have it today. <laughs> I, I say less. I'll try it. He's like, it's good. It's good. So. This guy walks to the back of the kitchen, <laughs> opens the fridge, yeah. takes the fucking thing, puts it in the microwave. That's that's Dog, I think he was just microwaving his leftover like spaghetti sauce. <laughs> <laughs> like dead ass, dead ass. He said, we have meat sauce poutine today. Yes, as in like, it's not usually yes, there. Yes, yes. So he put that stuff. shit on the fries, put some cheese on it. Never mind, that's not that's that's stuff. And gave it to me fam. Bro, <laughs> it was the nastiest shit I ever ate, bro. <laughs> now, also, look, their pizza, their pizza has one pepperoni per slice. Per slice. One Wait, pepperoni. did you did you guys like big bite in high school? Yeah, that was. So that's why. That's why. I only got it. I called him uncle. Yeah. I met. I met a big bite. I spoke to him in Tamil. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I called him uncle. I always got ten percent off. Yeah, I said. Uncle too. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Alright, you wanna wrap it up? Yo, it's Justin. Yeah. Wrap it up. That's, that's how you test Yo, it with your wrap it up. Wrap it up, there. Though it's like you gotta take her to Bubba John's and see if she. That's what I'm saying. That's the no shit. No, 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 no. Never take your girl there. Uh, he he's a ten. He's a ten, but he takes you to Bubba John's. Five. That's gonna be. That's gonna be a meme now. That's gonna be a meme now. I will wrap it up. 
All right, ready? All right, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Jumpers Jump Podcast, episode 100. We could never do it without y'all. Right. Thank you so much. Make sure to hit that comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you to everyone that showed up today. Right, shout out you guys, man. This is a real solid community. I'm, I'm so grateful to have it. And damn, like, I would have never thought, like I said in the beginning, I would have never thought it would have been this big. And I'm just so, I'm just so happy to be a part of it. You know what I mean? So let's go around and everybody say their goodbyes. Later, y'all. Shout out Love RJ. Man. Love y'all, man. Shout out you guys, man. Take it easy, y'all. Yo, don't copy me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, deuces, guys. All the bad bitches hit me up. Bye. Bye. Black Gavin is returned, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, everyone. And Jumpers Jump out. It's a wrap. Woo! Wow. Wow, guys. <laughs>